Hi, yes, hello, this is the Josh feed. Hi, how are you? Hi. How's it going? Hope you're all doing great today. I'm a little chipper today. I don't know, something about not feeling sick anymore, just really buzzing on that idea, you know? Really buzzing on that idea. Give you just a moment, Dobby's already being a jerk. Okay, we're back. It's like Dobby knows as soon as I go live. It's like a tradition. The, the last, the last like five, six streams, as soon as I go live, Dobby starts like trying to get into wires and stuff. <laughs> it's like, it's like a tradition every day now. He's lucky he's cute. He's lucky he's cute. Just like you guys, you're cute too. How's it going everyone? Who do I see in chat? Who do I see? I see Super Jukes 2, Cosmic Kitty, Timort, Suzanne, Burrito, Aaron. You're waiting on your fingerprints for, for, for the new job. Nice. Nice. Carmen with the work and lurk. Very cool. Thanks for joining us. Hope work's going well. What's up, the Dang, Mifit Blue, Ludo Zeal, Emo the Great, Scott Shabalam. Hello. What's up, Setheroth? Hey, Zaza. Ryan, hello. Little Z. JM17. Yuck, Canchi Phase, Bren, Velocity. I hope you feel better, man. Terry Rose. What's up, Yasin? Damp Squib, Death Angel, Julio, Cruisin, Janet, Slim Jim Jesus, Miss Bradica is here, Richard Cole. What's going on, guys? Sorex, Sorex, Prairik. Hello. Good to see you, man. Welcome back. The end is near. Hello there. Omi Gun, Greybeard, Mason Dover. Welcome, everyone. Paul, hello. Hello. Could you call me Apollyon? If you want me to call you Apollyon, I need you to change your YouTube name to Apollyon. I call people by what their name is displayed as because there's so many people that come through the channel on a daily basis that it would be impossible for me to actually remember like specific names for specific people. It's just the human brain does not function in that capacity. Mega Death Mayhem, Crashy, hello. Eight Ball, hello. Hey, Donna. Turkey, Matt B. Hello there. Hey, Carmen. Wallet, hello. What time is it where you live? 4 03 p.m. Eastern Time. I got you. Yeah, I'm glad you understand, man. It's just, there's. There's a lot of uh, a lot of names, you know. <laughs> it's very hard to remember, like, you know, an indiv individual circumstance. Ready for some Elden Ring slayage? Heck yeah! What are we doing today? Uh, we're gonna be trying out a couple of different spears. A couple of different spears. We've been using Silurius Tree, and Silurius Tree has been fantastic. If you actually look at the holy damage on this thing, it's actually pretty crazy. It's unfortunate that it is holy damage, but all the same, this thing hits like an absolute truck. When I hold down, when I hold down L2 and I hit an enemy with the spear and the Ash of War itself at the same time, it does right around 1100 damage for basic enemies. And in fact, let, let me test this out. It should be right around 1100 damage on this guy. Okay, I lied. It's 1654 damage. Yeah, so I was actually underestimating it. It does even more damage than I said. It is absurd damage from this thing, and it's only plus 7. If I get this thing to plus 10, I guarantee you, with my stats scaling up as well, it'll start doing between 2,000 and 2,400. It is crazy damage for a spear. Or, you know, crazy damage for an Ash of War in general. It's crazy. Very good. So the, this spear has been proving very, very powerful for us. But what we're going to try out today, I want to try out specifically Clayman's Harpoon. Where is it? Right there. Clayman's Harpoon. And we can try Vike's War Spear as well, because that is also a dexterity, a dexterity scaling weapon. So we can try to uh, amplify some fire damage. I don't know if I have the Fire Scorpion Charm. 
Do I have the fire scorpion charm? I do not. I do have the sacred scorpion charm. So I could actually throw that on for a uh, Silurius tree as well. That could be interesting. Um, but if I could find out, I got to remember, does anyone remember where the fire scorpion charm is? I don't remember off the top of my head, but that might be worth throwing on with Vike's war spear. Uh, but the big thing that I want to try out today is definitely the clay man's harpoon. So we're going to be using that and Vike's war spear. And then if we happen to stumble across any other spears on the way, we can try that too. Maybe we'll try out the crystal spear as well. You do find it in Galmir? Right on. We're going to be doing that after a little bit of Altus Plateau action. So first things first, let's go back to the Table of Lost Grace and let's try out Clayman's Harpoon, shall we? What I want to do first, though, is talk to you. Oh, shoot. He's dead. I don't think I can get Glenstone Pebble now, can I? Shoot. Am I cut off from Glintstone Pebble? I mean, I could just throw Ice Spear on it. That's fine, too. His bell bearing. Thops sells Glintstone Pebble, does he? Let's go speak to Thops real quick, then. Oh, Thops. Oh, Thops. Hey, Tadoris. Box of donuts. Corn. Hello there. How's your day going so far? My day is going pretty well. I didn't do anything exciting, except I did make a peanut butter and Nutella sandwich. That was pretty damn delicious. Had it with a banana. It's not exactly great for you, but it's tasty. You have Glenstone Pebble, sir? You do. Oh, no, this is the sorcery, not the Ash of War. I need the Ash of War. There is a difference. I need the Ash of War. Bleh, Nutella? You don't like Nutella? Man, it's so good. It's so good. Nutella's disgusting? Disagree. Hey, Menacing. Roger's bell bearing. Where can I get that? Does he drop his bell bearing in the, uh, in the Stormvale Castle? Does he drop it here? Maybe go look. You sell his quest line? Round table? I mean, I just talked to him and he did nothing. In round table upon death? Yeah, I just spoke to him and he did nothing at all, so... Okay. All right. Do you like seafood? No. Let me just poke those guys. You don't like hazelnut either? Yeah, I guess that's fair. If you don't like hazelnut, then you won't like Nutella. Okay, it's definitely not here. Let me go back to the round table hold and speak to him again and see if something changes. Maybe he'll die after I spoke to him like I did? Maybe? Sir? 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 Yeah, he's got nothing. You guys, you, yeah, I know Roger sells it. That, 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 that was my point, but it won't let me do anything with him. Hello? Yeah, we got nothing going on here. So I guess we'll just have to hold off on that idea for now. Anyways, let me go over here. Clayman's harpoon. We can just throw um whatchamacallit on it. No, 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 no. Ice spear. Oh, Pardon me, guys. Still got a bit of a cough. Rest of the grace three times. Okay, I'll try one more time here. I'll try one more. Let's let's Oh, chair exploded. We rested. We rested. We are resters. Okay. Ah, yes. Good call. There it is. Excellent news, everyone. Thank you, dudes. There it is. That's what I wanted out of life. That's what I wanted. 
Fire Scorpion Charm. Oh, yes, the fort. Yes, perfect. Good call. Good call. We'll work our way over there. Um, we need to go Bell Bearing Shop, Rogier, Glintstone Pebble, Ash of War. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous, just like you. Uh, is it W Mio? Am I saying that right? Wimio? Wamio? Wamio? Welcome. Well, I took you food man no to relay out your own. Okay. It does require smithing stones with a clay man's harpoon. Noted. Ash of War, Glintstone Pebble. Um. I think I'm going to throw cold on it instead of magic. I do need a couple of intelligence points as well. I uh, said more than a couple, actually. Let me see my stats. Yeah, I'm going to need five levels in order to make that work. So we're going to have to use a little bit of something else in the meantime. But let me go ahead and get some of these things together here. All right, guys, write this down. 11 ones. Okay, 11 ones. Nine twos. Five threes. Nine fours. Write that down. Write that down. First order business. Eleven ones. And then nine twos. And then five threes. And then nine fours. Eight six seven five three oh nine. Do you recommend the Bloodhound Fang for Godric? The Bloodhound Fang is good throughout the entirety of the game as long as you don't re rely on only the bleed aspects. Cool, no okay, there's that. Uh, we'll throw we'll throw that extra level on there. Why not? Why not? All right, Clayman's Cold Harpoon, and now I need to basically go get some levels. Um. I guess we could just go respec because it's not going to be very hard to just kind of lose five levels there and then maintain other stats because I do have to switch up to dexterity as well anyway. So we can just kind of put some levels on intelligence to start that off with just to have. It's only five levels. We're not going to be like drowning in bad stats or anything. Oh, is it time? Can you stack cold with other enchantments? You can stack it. Any elemental statuses together as much as you want, as long as they've not been applied yet and are not currently active. All right, there's that. Let me go ahead and put 53 strength. Or sorry, 53 dexterity. Five here. We needed what? 12? 12 right there? Um, Shoot, hold on. I need to see what kind of strength we're going to need for these. My mistake. Uh, strength is 12 on that one, 16 on that one. Okay, so we're going to get a minimum of 16 strength here. All right, 40. 16. 12. And the rest in dexterity. Honestly, that's okay. Honestly, that's fine. doing all right Juan how are you I wouldn't worry about it blue don't let things like that get to you you do it out of the generosity of your heart it's never an expectation here you know this oh shoot I forgot about a little bit of faith for Vikes war spear so our next few levels will have to go into faith I think I have 16 by default so we'll have to worry about that we only need to put in two levels so Clayman's Cold Harpoon. Let's try this bad boy out. With Glintstone Pebble. All right, time to go here. Let's go beat up some bosses. What's up, Shark? Hey, Hawkmire. Like, then howdy. Thanks for leaving a like, dude. Let me be very clear about something. Um tipping or you know super chatting becoming a member stuff like that that's all completely optional stuff and that's up to you and only you all right let me be very clear about that 
whether you do it or not doesn't matter. It's uh, it's something that you do out of the generosity and kindness of your own self, and that's completely appreciated, but it's never mandatory by any means. Do not ever feel like that's a part of it. If you want to support what I do, just leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Watch my watch my content. That's all I ever ask. Hi Josh, long time no see. Hello there. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name because it's in Cyrillic. I'm not sure how to pronounce that as I do not know the uh, the functionality of the letters there. But thank you for joining me. Hello there. weapon did you enjoy the most in Elden Ring? I enjoy most so far. Um, Godslayer Greatsword and Marais Executioner Sword. Those two weapons are fantastic. Yori? Oh, right on, Yori. Thank you for telling me. Welcome, dude. Good to have you back. Good to have you back. Doing all right, Roof. How are you? What's up, Matt? How you been? Hey, Jake. To try and put on some int or faith increasing armor no i'm not concerned i'm not concerned it's only two levels away to get that faith and um i'm at a point in the game already where i'm actually already over leveled being level 91 in altus plateau is pretty high so i it's not like i'm hurting for experience by any means i've been clearing out so much stuff that i'm actually above where i should be so all is well Shark, thank you for the six euros. It's not? Damn, dude. You do refunds? I do not. YouTube does, though. They don't always grant them based on, you know, their own reasonings. But that's where you would go for it. Oh, yeah. That's a cool animation right there. That follow up to Glintstone Pebble is sick. Tight. What spear are you planning for the end game? Not sure yet, Lucifer. I'm trying out all sorts of different spears at the moment. Decent damage. What is the actual usage of mana on that? Very minimal, I'll say that. It's very minimal usage. Now let's see what the actual moveset's like here. Oh, I rolled so early. Okay, we got a slash with the running attack. Noted. Slash with the roll. Uh-oh. My rolls are bad so far today, guys. Shark, thank you for the six euros, dude. Come on, then. Have at you. That was actually a really fast recovery there. I don't know if that was intended. Okay, we have the running lunge for the charged R2. Noted. Oh, yeah. Rolled slightly early again. This is going to be the bane of my existence today, guys. Rolling early. Rolling early. Shark! Shark bits with five gifted members, dude. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much for doing that. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Right in the nose. Let's see those cult emos for the new non-cult members, huh? Thank you, Shark. Will this reach? Nope. It does get good range, but not that good range. 
We'll hit this one though. There you go. Oh my god, I keep rolling early. Thank you again, Shark. And Matt, thank you for the two. It says Rip Muse. A true Droosh crew kitty. Wait. Wait, Matt. What do you mean? What happened? What, what did I miss? What did I miss? Here, I have this one. Oh, that didn't actually kill it. Okay, come here. Have this. <laughs> Oh, I'm out of mana, that's why. Okay. Well, I was going to try to glintstone it to death, but uh, I guess that's not really an option here. All right. Cat okay, died, very beloved cat. I'm so sorry, Matt. I'm very sorry, dude. That's tough stuff. I'm, I'm very sorry for your loss, man. That's it's it. It's never easy, you know? one of those things that there's really nothing that <laughs> really nothing that can be said to really make that feeling even lessen i'm really sorry dude i truly am i feel for you sorry buddy What's up, Justice? Horatio, they give the two pounds. Falling Star Beast is the same size as a grown one? It is. I've always found that to be strange as well. It is. I agree, that's a little weird. Let me hit the Sight of Grace right here. All right, let me take a moment to catch up on chat because I was very distracted there for a minute. Thank you again, Matt and Horatio. Thank you again, Shark Bits. Much love to you, Matt. What's up, Biggie? Hey, Fern. T Morts, if I didn't say hello, hello there. What's up, Timo? Alexandru, hello again. Been for a couple days and I love the content. Thank you so much. Uh, Cocus Pocus. Thank you for joining me. What's up, Dominicus? Hello. Hedonist, welcome back. What's up, Mikhail? Slam and Smitty? All right. All right. What's up, Bucket Wheel Excavator? Dios Dado, hello? They have the same HP? No. No, they do not. All right, let's go over here. I know what I'm doing with myself now. I was, uh, I don't, I don't know if you guys ever get like this, but like, Whenever I feel like my brain is scattered, I have to like pause for a moment, recenter myself, and then just focus on one thing and get rid of that one thing. In this case, I was behind on chat, so I had to like focus on chat for a moment, kind of get my, my mental caught up. It's weird. This is going to be really weird to say, but if I'm not caught up on chat, a lot of the time it'll actually affect my gameplay. I don't know why. Is that weird? Come here. Stop, stop running. There you go. Bren, they give you the two dollars. <coughs> Sorry, pardon me, coughing. Bren, they give you the two, press F for Muse. Yes, F to pay respects. F to pay respects. Thank you, Bren, for the two. I appreciate it, dude. Katie, thank you for the five pounds. Hey, Josh, how are you? I'm doing okay. Still got a bit of a cough, but we're, we're, we're okay. In my sleep pattern right now is insomnia has been the pain for the last two weeks. I feel that. I feel that. I'm sorry. I hope you get some sleep soon. Thank you for the five pounds. Okay. Now 
There's that cold burst. Yep. Can't really dodge that so well. Weird. We just mirrored our rolls there. <gasps> I missed. Yeah, Glintstone Pebble and then the uh, the R2 follow-up is really good. I've never used that before, but that's really good. It does solid work. Matt, thank you for the two. It says, thanks for the love. Great community. I agree. We have a wonderful community of people from all over the world here. Thanks for joining me today, man. I know it's tough. All right, um, we got this dungeon here we can go to, so let's go do that one. Let's go do it. Just built my new PC, forgot to back up my app data files, which contains all the Steam saves. Lost my Elden saves, about 200 hours worth. Hendrax, may I ask you why you don't use the cloud as a backup? Even if you don't primarily use the cloud, say when you're done with a, with a play session, you can update the cloud with your latest saves. So that way you always have an internet based backup. If you if you're against it for some reason, I I would I guess I would just kind of like to hear why, because even if you don't use it primarily, you can use it as a safety, you know, like a fallback. You know what I mean? I don't blame you for using like your own drives because you know a lot of time saves can be faster on your own drives which is fair and more secure but to not use the cloud as a functional backup can you dual wield spears and elden ring yes proper waffles thank you for the five ever try ice spear on that it slaps yeah i tried ice spear on another um on another spear earlier on in the game what one did I try it on? It wasn't Tree Spear. It was something else. I, oh, you know what? I think it was the Pike. I tried it on the Pike. It did pretty well there. Thank you for the five proper waffles. Cruising, thank you for the $2. Says for the Josh Nutella fund. <laughs> thank you, dude. I appreciate it, Cruising. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Darkest Night, thank you for the $5. My God, you guys are super generous. Thank you. The irony in the fact that you're the only streamer I donate to and also the only one who doesn't ask for them. Yeah, dude, I, it's it's a complete extra thing. I think it, I think a lot of it is just because I, I kind of bring over the idea of the culture from Twitch, whereas on YouTube, a lot of people are just kind of shameless and asking for it. To me, that's very tacky. I mean, like... When I was on Twitch, like things like like the super chats that, that are, you know, things that are called super chats here are called tips on Twitch. And, the, you know, the whole idea of being a tip is that it's on top of everything else you're already doing. It's extra, right? It's like playing a piano in a bar and people come by and, you know, you're getting paid like an, a certain amount by the bar itself, I'm sure. If you know if you're hired work, right? But then people will come over and, you know, put some change in your tip jar or something. That's essentially what it is. Like, that's the idea of it. And so asking for it is a little bit much. That's just, that's just how I view it. Maybe that's not how everyone views it, but that's how I do. And that's how it generally is over on Twitch. And that's kind of where I learned my etiquette for it. Where am I now? I'm in Altus Plateau, a dungeon called Old Altus Tunnel. Thank you for the five, Darkest. Omi Gun, thank you for six months of membership. We love you, Matt. Jush and non-cold community. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, man. Matt, may I offer you a quote from God of War? God of War Ragnarok? Kratos' wife said, and this, like, this is just, it, you know, I know it's a video game, but it still hits hard. And to grieve is to have loved fully. 
I think that's beautiful. To grieve is to have loved fully. And Daz says to love fully is to grieve. The old reversal. Best quote? Yeah, dude, it, it's a hard-hitting quote for sure. But I think it's it's a beautiful quote. Oh, I missed. Okay, well, things are a little sketchy here. You let me out of the basement, back I go. Ooh, that double hit. That's good. Okay, I'm getting swarmed by swords and torches. My god. Swords and torches and shields, oh my. Oof, Royal Knight's Resolve, man. Backstab, come here. No, I wanted that backstab really bad. Dog. Oh my god, why? No! 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 <laughs> the panic was real, dude. I forgot about the dogs in that little shack. That was my mistake. If I had taken the dogs out first, like I usually do, it would have been fine. Shit, man. That was pure panic. That was pure, unadulterated panic. Have that one. Have that one. You can have that one. You want one? Here, have this. Yeah, spears hit hard, dude. They kind of they kind of destroy things. The thing is, too, is even if they're resistant to pierce, they still do a ton of poise damage, so you end up being able to get a critical hit soon after anyway. It's kind of crazy. War spears more so, but still, they all do pretty good poise damage. Maybe a backstab here? Nope? Okay. Hey. Swoosh. And follow up. You're alive? I wish you would stop that. Go away. Do not bash me with your shields. Robert, thank you for the five dollars. Says awesome quote, Josh. Sorry for the loss, Matt. Yeah, dude. Like that's something that when I when I was watching that cutscene, it made my eyes water. Like that that was one of the most hard hitting things I've ever heard in a video game. In a good way. Stab. Oh, I don't know why, but I thought that was not going to reach there. The only shame about it is it doesn't go through uh, shields like Impaling Thrust does. I know Glenstone Pebble is primarily about the Glenstone itself, so it makes sense, but... When you see an impaling thrust lookalike move, <laughs> you know, you kind of expect it to go through the shield and it doesn't. Shark, they give the two euros as, as so beautifully said in God of War. Boy. Yes, a beautiful quote as well. Said about 3,000 times. Boy. I don't do it as good as Christopher Judge does, though. All right, that's the boss room. We don't want that way yet. Thank you for the two, man. And AEI Racing, thank you for the $20 super chat. That's super nice. Oh my God. Hey, Josh and chat. Much love to everyone here. Don't forget to hit that like button to get more of us in here. Hey, man, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Reminding everyone to hit the like button and, uh, you know, the big generosity there. Thank you for that, dude. It's very kind. Thank you for it. Oh my God, this dog will not stop biting me. Sorry, the dogs kind of tilt me sometimes. <laughs> I 
What was going through that guy's head? What made him decide to just blow fire at the red barrels? Video game 101, you never blow fire at red barrels. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, dude. Hey, can someone clip that for me? Can someone make a clip of that? So that way I have a reference point for, uh, for later. I want to make a short out of that one. That was funny. That was hilarious. Oh my God. <laughs> Man, he's got me coughing over here. Holy shit. Cosmic Kitty, thank you for the $2. Big hugs to Matt. Love you, fam. Yes. Yeah. Guys, you want to do me a favor, actually. You want to take a moment and just flood, flood the chat with flowers and hearts for Matt. Yes. Yes. Yo, Daz, thank you for nine months of memberships. Why did he do that? I have no idea, man. That guy just, he had enough, I guess. He just, he's like, you know what? I'm not going to let this guy take me out. I'm going to beat him to it. No man is strong enough to kill me. Only I can do that. I'm currently using the, the uh, clay man's harpoon. I am just plagued with rolling early today, guys. Okay, so I've never seen him do that before. You guys remember yesterday when someone asked, hey, have you ever seen anything new in this game after all these playthroughs? I've never seen this guy blow fire out of his ball before. I did not know that was a thing. I had no idea. What the shit? I have never seen this. I'm dead. Never mind, I lived. Oh, the pullout! The pullout kills me though every damn time. Okay. Okay. All right. It's fine. So I bet you we can do the same thing to this guy that we did the uh, the smaller stone digger miner guy, where he blew the fire at the uh, the red barrel. I bet we could get the giant to do that too. In fact, you guys want to try that? You guys want to... You, yeah, let's try that. Let's try to get him to uh, damage himself with the red barrels by blowing fire at them. There's a limited amount of them in this room, but let's try it out. What spear is this? Clayman's harpoon. Fire. No, that's not fire. That's... Still hits me. Okay, well. Alright, oh, you broke those barrels too. That's kind of shitty. Oh my god, this guy. I, Dude, I've never seen this attack from this guy before. How have I never seen this? Dude, you're breaking all the barrels, and I'm sad about it. Well, I guess that's that, huh? You broke all the barrels in the room? Yeah, unfortunate. How, how am I seeing this so much, but I've never seen it before? Okay, well, I'm also seeing that club a lot today, too, so there's that. Is cranky today. I 
hate that I missed those attacks. Oh my god. Wait, did that Glenstone Pebble really just do 351 damage? Oh my god, it did. Wow, okay, that's a crazy good amount of damage right there. 917 with that combo. I guess they're pretty weak to magic damage, huh? Holy heck, guys. Sharkbit, thank you for the 22 euros. In all seriousness, I love that quote as well by Faye, especially with the follow-up that so contrasts what we learned from Kratos in the first game. We open our hearts to it. That just brought up so full circle. Yeah, for real, dude. In like, an incredibly powerful quote from a video game. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> you know, it's just, it, they, they really hits hard. Definitely one of the most powerful things I've ever heard of from a video game in general. I think it's 22 euros, man. That's incredibly nice. Thank you. Bucket Wheel Excavator becoming a member. Thank you very much, Bucket Wheel. Hope you enjoy the emotes you can use in chat as well as my videos, comment sections. Thank you for becoming a member here, man. And Matt with the five gifted members to the community as well. Matt, thank you. Bucket Wheel, thank you. Sharkbit, thank you. I appreciate you all very much. Thank you, guys. Hey, Screamer. Hey, Phil. Never played this game, but as a general rule, trolls are weak to magic, whereas pretty resistant to physical damage. Um, I mean, a lot of the time, yes. I just didn't expect that to be a thing so much visible here at this time. While a lot of From Software games have a lot of things based in, say, D&D, for example, they also break a lot of general rules for D&D, too. It's like a, a cherry picking. Oh, nice turnaround. Oh, that's fire. Hey! <laughs> Got your toes. No, I need you to let me. There you go. Plug it in. All right, do the pullouts. There we go. We do this. Very nice. Even when you're out of uh, FP, you can still get that long, right, long, long range poke. Even when you no longer have mana, you can do that. That's pretty cool. Like, I have no mana right now, but it still lets me go swoosh. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, Burke, hey, what's up? Having, tr having horrible bug in round table, game legit breaking down, I can't even see my fonts. My fronts, rather. I barely move. Only happens in the round table hold want to express my thoughts maybe some of you could help me are you playing on pc i would say um yeah i mean i guess you can do it on uh, xbox and playstation as well try repairing the files for the game see if that helps you out it sounds like maybe there's a corrupt file for that area specifically that's what that sounds like to me did i miss millennia no i haven't gone to um hell fail yet Man, I am poisoned and scarlet rotted. I am toxic. It's the crystal spear from yesterday. It's uh, Clayman's harpoon. Yeah, it's the one we farmed from the Clayman's.
you just had to verify your files for the same issue stone man yeah so that's, that's what it sounds like to me uh generally speaking when you open up a game and there's one specific area that's causing you like a lot of frame loss or it's just like it doesn't feel like the rest of the game it's generally a, cor a corrupt file and so that would be what i would investigate there try repairing the video game files in steam you can also do it on the consoles too you can uh hit the start button on your uh your installation of the game and you should see somewhere verify game files repair game files something along that something along those lines you guys want to uh, let me try to put this set on let's change up our uh, our wear here let's put on the mariah sets all right you know what that kind of hits that kind of hits nice something about that it's just kind of cool even thought maybe i did too many early things and i shouldn't have and the game is punishing you <laughs> no nah, man it sounds like a corrupt file to me i would check that out uh, if that doesn't work then maybe a complete game reinstall can help it, because that's a that's a very unusual functionality uh, that should never be happening uh, to me that just sounds like the game is busted in some regard especially if the game is performing fine elsewhere no matter what platform you're on if it's performing fine elsewhere except there that just it sounds like corrupted files to me yeah Hey, damn attic. That's a mistake on my behalf. Yep. Have this one. Oof. I want to hit that so bad. <laughs> you look like a very fancy lamp but do you love lamp do you love lamp Oh, I just Goomba stomped that guy. Okay, you guys want to hear something? You guys want to, like, I, I was given the, the, the biggest compliment last night for my gameplay. Someone watched back uh, the stream that I had a couple days ago where I did, um, I fought the two bell bearing hunters and I did them both without taking any hits. And the guy was accusing me of uh, cheating. <laughs> he said you get the ai to do the same things over and over again this seems like their movement is slower <laughs> and then he goes on to say some pretty uh pretty insulting stuff too but he accused me of cheating he said man stop cheating in video games i think damn bro damn i've i've, I've really done it now i know hit i know hit some bell bearing hunters and now i'm being accused of cheats Damn. Oh, I forgot you're over there in the corner. My mistake, sir. See, I knew you were there and I still failed the dodge. So there's that too, I guess. Darkest Night. Thank you for three months of membership, man. I want to hit that so bad. Juice 2023. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute, dude. Wait. Unintentional. Out of context, Josh. Ooh. Out of context, Josh. Darkest, thank you for the three months of membership, man. I appreciate it. I'm going to let this heal me up a little bit instead of using a flask. Andre Sebastian, thank you for the 449 pounds. I can't always make it to the stream, but when I when I get here, it's always pleasant. Thank you for the content and the advices. Hey man, thank you for joining me for it whenever you're able to. That means a lot, dude. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you, dude. Thank you for that.
I think he was talking about this right here, where I'm able to basically get him to repeat the shield slam over and over, you know? Just like that. Oh my God, he's cheating again. Look at that, guys. Another bell bearing hunter, no hit. Screw that table, though. Okay, we got that. We got the prosthetic arm. Let's go give that to Millicent. Ain't no way, bro. Cheating for real, for real. Josh, why do you cheat? Can't help it, bro. Can't help myself. Hey, I found an arm. You can have it. Yes, I am giving you the arm. It's yours. You're welcome. Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay, that dialogue is good to go. Let's go right here. There is a, um, a knight's cavalry down here we can fight. What's up, Paranormal? He's hacking. He's hacking. Your horse looks a little cold. Oh, damn it. I wish you didn't get caught on that tree. I could have landed a big hit there. Ooh. Spicy movement there, bud. far away unfortunate all right ah ah very good yes quite oh you got frostbitten have this one. Oh, okay never mind i'm gonna have that one instead thank you <laughs> thank you Okay, there's shared order. Let's go north, shall we? 
Hey, Dom, thank you for the $5 super chat. Just watched the HBO series The Last of Us. Had to go back to your playthrough because I noticed this actor does not waddle like you. SMH. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't do a whole lot of the crouch walking, but, you know, I'm fine without that. I watched it last night, too, actually. It's, it's pretty good. I'm genuinely surprised by how good it is. They remained quite faithful to the, uh, to the story at the very beginning so far. It's really solid. Really, really solid. Darkest Night, thank you for the $5 again, dudes. It's so easy to get caught up in the majestic gameplay and great vibes. Hitting the like button only takes a second. That's true, you know. That's true. Thank you for the five as well, Darkest. Dom and Darkest Night, both of you guys. Thank you. What does the Frost Effect 2 do? When you Frostbite an enemy, it does 11% of their total health in damage, plus 85 and it also reduces uh, their stamina regeneration and decreases their damage negation by 20 percent oh it also slows their movement slightly too scared the zombies i know gave them a, gave them a little spook a little jump scare What's up, Jupiter? Hey, Morning Iron. What spear is that? This is the Clayman's Harpoon. Whoops. More of a bleed guy? Yeah, I mean, bleed is pretty good, too. I think Frostbite's better, personally. Frostbite uh, will often affect things that Bleed cannot, but it will also affect the majority of things that Bleed can also affect, so it just has a wider range of use in the game. Plus, um, this game is more than just raw damage a lot of the time, unless you're doing like a one-shot build. Um, Frostbiting something will have a much grander effect than Bleed, because Bleed will stagger, but so does Frost when it applies but also slows their movement and allows you to do more damage while the frost is applied. So it's just a, a stronger lasting effect. Realistically, the only time you should use bleed over frost is if you're specifically um, just able to apply bleed nonstop if you're doing like a pure arcane build type deal. Sometimes you get caught up in the moment, you know? Hey, Zonex, what's up, man? Julius, thank you for the two. There goes Josh's favorite song. You know it, dude. You know it. Thanks for the two spot, man. Oh, 
the army. It feels perhaps it is thus. I wish it is the own. I wish it is the own. Okay, there you go. Very good. We will next see her over at the mountaintops area. We will see her a little bit later. Let's go to that, that dungeon right there. Playing God of War Ragnarok. Nice. This is part four. Yes. Yes. Is your spear under level? They're supposed to be kind of low. It's only plus 13. Um, I would say it's kind of in the vicinity of where it should be. I mean, I could get it probably to 16 if I were to focus all of the smithing stone fives I can find on it, but uh, I'm kind of spread out amongst a bunch of different weapons, and so plus 13 is pretty sufficient for the area. It'll do fine here. Basically, the way I see it is if plus 13 works in Kaled, plus 13 works fine in, K in uh, Altus Plateau as well. Kaled is much more difficult for the most part than Altus. You just have to remember that uh, I am spread ab amongst a bunch of different weapons. If I was using one singular weapon, I could probably have it plus 16, maybe 17 at this point, but I'm spread out between a bunch of different ones. So all my plus fives are kind of scattered in the wind right now, but that's okay because once we get to the mountaintop area, we'll be able to rectify that. All right. All right. Here we are. Hey, Nicholas, thank you for the $5, man. Seeing you play Elden Ring really helped me finish my first playthrough, and now I'm on my third. This game is amazing. Hey, good job, man. Listen, like, I'm glad that I can help, but as I always say, man, you're the one responsible for pressing the buttons. If you made it through the uh, through the game, you're the one that was holding the controller or the keyboard and mouse, and that's what you did, and that's you, man. Good job. Good job, man. Everyone say hello to wife. Wife is home. Talita, thank you for the $5. I can't always watch the live stream, but this is a great community and you're a great streamer, Josh. Keep up the great work. Much love, everyone. Talita, thank you so much for the kindness. The kindness and the five bones. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. The kindness today is surreal. Thank you all. Nice set. Thank you. I appreciate you, Nicholas and Talita, both. Thank you. All right, what do we need to do around here? We can grab this. There's a bunch of smithing stone fives in here, so this is mostly why we're doing this. Because I can actually level up this uh, bad boy a little bit more. I do kind of want to change it up to Ice Spear, though, and see if Ice Spear is a little bit better as far as actually just applying damage and stuff goes. They'll still both be Frostbite, so it's going to be ultimately the same idea. I just think that uh, Ice Spear is a little bit better for... Staggering. I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say that I think Ice Spear is the New Age Flame of the Red Mains. I think Ice Spear is that very spammable spell that'll allow you to just knock things down faster if you want to. An Arteria Leaf. A very useful item, by the way. I'm just kidding. I actually have no idea what it's for. I don't really do the crafting in the game, so... I can't tell you how useful it is, but it's purple, so... Gotta be something, right? gotta have some kind of value how's the new spear it's pretty solid it certainly does the stabbing as you can see what do you think is the best type of build to beat the game i generally think that going through the game the first time as a newer player doing strength is uh, a big benefit strictly because doing a strength build will allow you to not only learn to dodge enemies but also if you have a hard time dodging enemies 
um strength actually gives you added damage negation something a lot of people do not realize in this game is that strength actually allows you to get free damage negation which makes you more of a natural tank oh, i thought that was going to knock you down i misjudged I missed. Worth it. And so it just allows you to kind of get more in line with the game, more in tune with it. Learning the ins and outs of dodging and all that, which is a very important skill set across every type of gameplay. Dodging is vastly important in this. It also just kind of gives you that natural tanky status. All stats and vigor and strength. Yeah, you could very much so play that way. To give you an example of what I mean, if you go, if you hit the start button and go down to status, and then you hit uh, detailed view, or I'm sorry, uh, the help button, you see how it says help on the bottom there? And then you hit explanation. It'll tell you what every stat does by scrolling down. For example, vigor, attributing, attribute governing HP also affects fire resistance and immunity. Strength, attribute required to wield heavy armaments, also boosts attack power of strength scaling armaments and affects your physical defense. There's more than just the offensive side to these attributes, so keep that in mind when you build your character. Yo Josh, stop defeating enemies so easily, it's getting boring. Let me turn off my cheats. Sorry. My bad. My bad. Damn it. Hey guys, how you doing? Thanks, Josh. You like spears? There you go, buddy. That's all for you. Moonvale or Rivers of Blood? I don't really use either, so I don't really know. I'd have to guess that Rivers of Blood is probably more effective endgame, just because it has that bleed. But even then, the Ash of War without the bleed can just apply a lot of damage really quickly. And then Moonvale is definitely superior when it comes to poise damage, so it just really depends on what you're doing for your build. Now they'll go see Josh admits he cheats as they have zero sense of humor. Yeah. I mean, I'm fine with it. If people can't take a joke and if they think that I'm cheating, I mean, that's on them. They've got their own personal shit to work out. If they think that a content creator is going to sit around and just cheat all day, risk their career, then, you know, they've got bigger issues at hand. No content creator in their right mind is going to risk, you know, getting banned or called out for that type of stuff and ruin their career. No one in their right mind anyway. It's rain and death. Awful grabby. Oh, 
All right. All right. There goes Wormface. Everyone wave goodbye to Wormface. The man whose face is literally a bunch of worms. All right, there's no need to do the tower over there, so we can just skip that. Let me go ahead and get up here. We can ride south. The boss looks like my grandmother right after waking up. Is grandma okay? Is she all right? Killed one of those using your horse helps. Yeah, you can definitely take them on from the horse. And if that helps you take them out that way, then definitely do it up. You're not cheating? No, I'm not. But there is uh, some people that think I am, which is odd because I am far from the best player in this game. All right. So this guy in here does have a larval tier, and he does become a lion, so, uh, you know, there's that. You ever just want to become a lion? I thought you were going to jump in the air, not dash at me. Shit man. Okay. Shit man. All right. Don't get greedy like I did there. That's bad. All right, the issue is I'm trying to land combos, and this guy doesn't really allow you the time to do that. You basically get one hit in, and then you have to roll again. Okay. All right. The double jump. Hey, there's that frostbite I've been waiting for my whole life. Oh. Bro, relax. What's that guy on about? Huh? What's going on? All right, Lorenzo, how are you? Which stat do I focus on for more damage? It depends on the weapons you're using. You can always tell what a weapon scales on based on its requirements. So what you can look at here, for, for example, Clayman's Harpoon. You can see with how it's currently built that it requires mostly strength and intelligence. And then you see the attribute scaling just to the left of that. See how it says strength C? The higher the letter, the better the scaling. The only exception is if it says S because S means perfect. So basically, uh, from top to bottom is S, A, B, C, D, E. The higher the letter on that list, the better the scaling of that attribute. No, oh, hold on. I got better spend these runes. Oh, I should have put that in faith, actually. Oh, well. Next time, guys. We'll get them next time. Hi, I'm from Iraq. Thank you for joining... Or, uh, Iraq, rather. Sorry. Thank you for joining us from Iraq. Hey, Mustafa. Darkest. Thank you for the $10, man. Just finished my 10th playthrough as Ronnie the Snow Witch with Dark Moon and Ice Spells. That sounds fun. I get hyped and inspired watching you play. Three hours later, I'm asking, why do I keep doing this to myself? Hey, man. If you're having a good time, then that's what counts. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Thank you for the 10. Thank you, man. Ooh, that frost, baby. Oh, 
where are you going? All right, that's the black knife. Very good. Hey, Lewis, what's up? Is Frost the new bleed? I think Frost has always been better than bleed, but people just kind of focused on the idea that bleed did higher spike damage. I just find Frost to be more useful. It doesn't do the as high spike damage, but uh, it definitely has larger applications for enemies that are going to outlast that spike damage anyway. Being able to reduce their movement speed and get 20%, um, basically getting rid of 20% of their damage negation so that all your future hits do that much more damage is pretty big. I hate those guys. How does the spear do sorceries? It's an Ash of War. Glintstone Pebble, and there's a few other Glintstone type spells that are also Ashes of War. They're not just sorceries. They're very basic, but they are they are some uh, Ashes of War as well. Hey Saint McKay, how you doing? If you really want to make the most of it, though, just have one weapon do frost and the other do bleed. Make sure they both have a decent amount of buildup at 50 plus, and you'll be able to just destroy things in this game. They're both incredibly powerful, but when you combine them, you're unstoppable. Oof. All right. You know, I thought you were going to run at me there, and you didn't. You make me sad. What's the outfit name? It is the Marais set. Marais mask and Marais robe. And then I got Sorcerer Manchats and Crucible Greaves on. For no other reason than just a little bit of something to have on. there's a katana that did frost do wielding frost and bleed would be crazy oh daniel do i have just the thing for you dude there is a very underutilized katana called the dragon scale blade it is my personal favorite katana it is a dragon kin warrior weapon which means that it does ice lightning when you activate the ash of war it calls in a lightning strike and then imbues the weapon with frostbite for a minute it's incredibly underrated and incredibly powerful Please seek that weapon out, my man. You will not be disappointed. Trust me. Trust me. Underutilized, underappreciated, but does very well. If you're curious of where to find it, you get it by defeating the Dragonkin Warrior that is found in the middle of the Lake of Rots.
the Wat Katana Dragon Scale Blade. It's so good, man. You do have a bit of an animation where you have to tap L2 and then you call in a bit of a lightning strike. The lightning strike itself can do damage and it does okay because it does uh, the application of the lightning plus the swing of the blade, I believe. So it can do pretty decent damage if you can actually land it on an enemy. But the big ticket on it is that it imbues it with ice lightning, which means you apply frostbite to your enemies. And it's a pretty good buildup. It's very good. It's, it's a very underutilized weapon and deserves more praise. No, no, no. Where are you going? I'm not done with you. Come here. Come on. They need to lessen the leash on this guy. This is really not great. The fact that he just starts to walk away when you need him to be over here is a little much. Come on, dude. You see this? Like, he's just walking away. Like, he's still looking at me, but he's just walking away. Come on. They definitely got a little less than the leash on that guy. sold Elden Ring long ago because I have platinum and now I want it back <laughs> and unfortunately I, uh, the game was just on sale I don't expect it to go on sale again for a while so a bit unfortunate there I guess still in range of that. I thought I wasn't. Whoopsie. Whoopsie doodles. Oh, I should have rolled to the side. Which boss do I like the least? I do have a boss tier list video on my channel you should check out, but generally speaking, the things I like the least, um, there's only one that I know of that's considered a boss, but uh, Royal Revenants, and then you have, um, the Erdtree Sanctuary Watchdogs, those things are kind of meh as well. Let's not run off the cliff while reading chat. What's in the box? Hey man, what you doing? Ow. You know, I'd really like it if you dropped your partisan. I would really like that. Can I have it? No? I still need a partisan, guys. I've not 
I've not had the opportunity to use one yet. I'm kind of sad by it. Saddened by it. YouTubers always have to show off with the bosses. That is some very high intellect stuff coming from a man literally named Eat a Bag of Dicks. Let's not outdo ourselves here, bud. Relax. Take it easy for a moment, okay? If you think I'm doing this to show off, then you're completely missing the point, and that's your problem to deal with. You know what? I forgot about the wind part of that. I knew the electric wave was coming, but I forgot about the actual wind parts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's our frostbite. Man, with some of the things that people say, it's almost like YouTubers are not allowed to enjoy video games anymore, you know? Like, oh my god, imagine playing a video game and having a good time with it? What the hell? How dare I? Give me them toes, Lance Ax. Hey, so how'd that other hit miss? Any any ideas? Boop him on the snoot real quick. There's our second frostbite. If you're not miserable 24-7, you're doing it wrong, to be honest. All right, fair. I guess I got to work on that. Let me, uh, let me somehow add to my misery here. How do I add to my misery in this game? I guess I try to play it hitless all the time. Try to do it deathless. And would you rather I sit here and complain about what I don't like about the game? Nonstop? Is that, is that what you want me to do? Like, how do I make you happy, bag of dicks? How do I make you happy? Key to beating that dragon? Um, poking the toes. You got to try to stay underneath it. Try to stay towards its back feet and its tail, and then just keep hitting it while it does its thing. In between its own attacks, you'll find a lot of opportunity like I did to just keep hitting the toes and the tail based on uh, what's around you. The tail is a lot uh, harder to hit as you don't get it nearly as often, but it is... Uh, Definitely a great opportunity that you want to take advantage of if it presents itself. No hit plus deathless plus unarmed plus L plus ratio. Damn, dude. 
Darkest Night, they give the $5, says, yeah, Josh, knock it off. How dare you be entertaining for the 1,129 people watching and 433 likers. More likers, he says. Hey, they give the $5, Darkest Night. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, it's time to go over this way. Oh, what, why did I go there? Oh, you know what? There's a bell-bearing hunter over here we can fight. This is fine. Do you always use Radagon Sword Seal, or does the extra damage sometimes not worth it? Um, I generally almost always use it, just because I... It's just kind of a, an easier thing to use for the extra the extra stats. I, so The way I look at it is I try really hard to not get hits, and if I try really hard to not get hit, then I'm not punished as much for using it. Generally speaking, though, I would say it uses its effectiveness mostly after level 90. Specifically, if you're in PvP, never use it after level 90. It's basically worthless at that point. But in PvE, you can get away with it pretty much whenever. Realistically, I should be trying to find something else to put in that slot instead of using that. But it is what it is. Level 53 and can't find any bosses to fight for my level. Any chef's recommendations? Level 53, where in the game are you, Gray Fox? Like, realistically, I could probably trade this out for... You know, I could throw on, like, Two Fingers Heirloom if I want to use uh, Vike's War Spear. Prosthesis Wear Heirloom to up the damage of my spear, you know. Um, intelligence can help the spear out a tiny bit, too. Um... We could probably do Blue Dancer Charm because we're under 30 equip load. Stuff like that. Like, I could, but I'm just going to keep rocking this just because I, you know, I find it the most effective for what I'm doing right now. All right, let's buy the Sentry Torch here. The Sentry Torch, if you do, got, do not know, guys, let me look at this. Torch given to protectors of the Erd Tree. Its flames are bestowed with a special incantation which allows the bearer to see assassins cloaked in veils. Furnished on behalf of the Erd Tree and the grace given lord such that a knight of black knives will never come again. When you have this in your hand or on your back, it'll basically make it so you can see invisible things, such as black knife assassins. I'm outside Landell Capital. So you're in Altus Plateau, the same area I am. Uh, you can try the... Specifically, if you're just trying to find some bosses to level up, you can go down here, fight this guy. That's a, a Falling Star Beast. You can fight Godefroy here. If you know how to fight Godric, you can fight Godefroy right there. Um, there's a, a, uh, a Knight Cavalry that spawns right here at nights. You can do that. You find Lance Axe right there. Lance Axe isn't too bad. Warm Face right here. A Godskin Apostle up here. That's pretty easy, comparatively to all the others in the game anyway. Those are some good examples of what you can find that you could probably handle at your level. Where is this? Right here. This is the Hermit Merchant Shack in Altus Plateau, just outside of Lindell. Okay, it's nighttime. Why are you still here? Go away. Go away, man. Hey, Neo Pagan, what's up? got me good there all right it's the first time i've taken a hit from four bell bearing hunters man we'll take that as a w Oh my god, he's cheating. He's doing the same move over and over again. Oh. 
Okay, we took another hit, guys. God damn. Oh my god, he's cheating again. Oh my god. Holy shit, man. What's up, buddy love? You can induce the AI to do certain behaviors. Yeah, you can manipulate the uh, the enemies to do certain things quite often. For example, if you press Y in the middle of uh, fighting a godskin, apostle, or a noble, oftentimes they'll throw a fireball at you because they do input reading. You can make Melania do waterfowls by throwing projectiles at her. You can get this guy to slam his shield constantly on the ground by remaining behind him because that's how he turns around fastest. It's just AI manipulation. It's not cheating. It's just knowing the game. Exactly. Exactamundo. Let's go get this uh, death bird over here. The death bird will probably kill me. I'm really bad at fighting these things, admittedly. So, you know, wish me luck and all that. <clears throat> yes, very good. Oh. I rolled early. I'm alive. Have that. Have that. Uh oh. Okay, that somehow didn't damage me. I'm okay with this. Oh, you killed your snail friend. You killed your snail friend there, bud. sad that I just missed that uh, critical damage there, but it's fine. Still landed a lot of hits. It's good. Hey, stop screaming. Didn't roll at all. Oh! Ah. Close call. Oh, that was a miss. Oh. <laughs> there you go. And this is the twin bird kite shield. I think the uh, the twin bird kite shield actually has a pretty unique effect to it. I think it has something to do with guard counters, I think. 
Oh, at dwindling levels of HP, the shield slightly boosts both attack and defense. So, okay, so it's more of the, uh, the RTSR effects. Yes, okay. I don't know why I thought it was for guard counters. Isn't there a shield that helps with guard counters? I thought there was. Jumping attacks actually have a better hit than normal. They do slightly more damage. Uh, I'm specifically, I'm doing jumping R2s, but, um... They're just easier to hit on objects that are higher. That's why I use it against them specifically. And they do a decent amount of poise damage. It increases the poise damage of the weapon you're using, specifically if you're doing a heavy version of the attack. Jump R2 versus jump R1. Yeah, same here, Screamer. I just know RTSR. I don't remember the actual non-abbreviated name. The non-acronym. That Knight's Cavalry fight was lit thanks for the recommendation i got you dog hey guys thank you for 500 likes on the stream i really appreciate it 500 likes already crazy cool thank you careful you're gonna hurt someone with that shit man you're gonna hurt someone Gideon. What the hell are you doing, man? Mr. Nates. Thank you the $5 super chat. Just rewatched you beat Melania for the first time. Are there any other big gaming moments you have given you excitement satisfaction to that level? Um. The very first time when I was playing Escape from Tarkov and I defeated a group of five other players as someone that was playing solo. That was a pretty damn exhilarating moment. Handshaking and all that. That was pretty great. I would say that's pretty up there for me. As far as other things go, I would say completing all the Dark Souls games, like getting through the bosses in those games is pretty exhilarating. Probably not as much as defeating Melania per se, because Melania for me was the single hardest boss out of all of From Software games for me. But I would say, uh, you, you know, just kind of getting through the games is a pretty big feat for me. This guy's sneezing non-stop. What is this? You got a cold there, buddy? Bless you. Oh, that miss. Are you kidding me? Do you have a boss guide for this one? I do. You can find the boss guide for Draconic Tree Sentinel on my channel. I have a whole bunch of boss guides on my channel, guys. If you're curious on how I defeat these bosses, I, I have videos discussing all of my strategies and how I take on all the major bosses of the game. Definitely check those out. I've got a ton of them. Okay, I rolled early. Unfortunate.
I didn't roll at all that time. I rolled early. God, I'm terrible right now. Please don't die to this shit. <laughs> the insult. Just the singular Gwynstone pebble for the kill. The singular pebble to the jaw. There you go. Alright, uh, let's go defeat the Crucible Knight duo now. What's up, Ash? How you doing? Uh, what build are you going to go for next? If you're asking what weapon I plan on using next, I will likely use Voik's War Spear next. Just kind of give it a go. In fact, if you guys want me to do that now, I can change it up to it right now. We could do that. We can uh, go grab the Fire Scorpion Charm and use that alongside it. Why am I on my horse for this? Take a seat. All right, so we'll go do that before doing uh, the Crucible Knight duo. So I need to go over to Mount Galmir. Let's do that. Darkest Knight, thank you for the five bones. Watching your earlier gameplay, you are the embodiment of get good. And what cheater makes boss guides? People are strange. Ah, uh, it, you know. It is what it is. People are going to say what they're going to say, but it doesn't mean it's based in reality. That's unfortunately the current state of the, a lot of the world. People just say what they want to say and think their opinion means more than fact. Sad, sad state of affairs. Dual wield spears? No, I like to, I like to wield them solo just so that way we can see the actual effectiveness of them as individual items. Maybe the five bones, Darkest. That's all good, Satira. Good to have you here, man. Vike is the man? Yeah, Vike is the man. Sing it, Scrabble. What's this guy pointing at? Oh, yeah, it's a tree, isn't it? Yeah. That's a tree. What's the best spear in your opinion? Uh, for me right now in this playthrough, the single best spear is Silurius Tree. Silurius Tree does insane amounts of damage. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. Tree Spear is a close second. Yeah, Vike was, uh, you know, he was uh, destined, kind of, to become Elden Lord, but then he fell to the madness. Careful where you're stomping there, bud. You're going to hurt someone. Think you're going to make it to Melania this stream? No. I'm clearing too much content to be able to make it to Melania today. That'll likely be tomorrow, possibly? Probably? Since you helped me get... <laughs> help me get souls for leveling up i will impart my best elden ring wisdom you can roll with the roll button oh shit man is that real life you can roll with the roll button oh shit man 
Oh shit, man. What's up, Smoking Bar? You have a guide for Melania yet? Not as of yet, Chase. That is uh, one of two guides I still need to put out. I'm waiting until I get there on this character so I can record more footage so that way I can really talk about the uh, the important moments of the fight. I need a little bit more footage for it. Oh, it's coming for me. But it missed. Aha. I dare you to climb the ladder. You and your noodle arms. Think that Melania is the hardest boss in the game? Yes. Uh, Corn, I don't have anything with kick on it, man. What bosses are easy? Um, Soldier of Godric. I would say oftentimes the dragons can be easy depending on how you go about fighting them. And you know that this is not universal. This is just for me, in my opinion. Obviously, my opinion is not everyone. So don't take this as an insult if you struggle with a boss of any kind. This is just one of those things where every player is different. I generally find the dragons easy, but even then I have died to them plenty of times. Um... Fire Giants, I consider to be very easy. I've uh, completed the game 24 times, and I have only died to Fire Giant maybe 10 to 15 times total. Maybe. Um, let me think. Godskin Nobles. Godskin Nobles are harder, or I'm sorry, not as difficult as the Apostles. Do you like the bandits' curved swords? I actually didn't use them on my curved sword playthrough. I do not know. I cannot say. Hmm, you got the holy swords. You know what's funny? Is they have all those arms and legs, and they still can't climb ladders. Look at them. Look at them. All those arms and legs, and for what? All right, all right, hold on. Don't, don't do that. Oh. What spirit do I use the most? Um, I've not really used any one of them for too long so I can't really say where are you going? I don't know just up ladders dude do you kill turtles? only the spirit ones are we there yet? no still climbing still climbing Hold on, there's more ladders. Don't don't worry, guys. In case you were wondering, there's still more ladders to climb. Don't worry. The ladder content you've always wanted is still here. This is a ladder stream. This is a ladder stream. Yes, hi, hello. My name is Josh. Welcome to the channel. My name is Josh. Uh, today on this video, we're climbing ladders while getting fire bombs thrown at our feet. It's great. Yes. Awesome. You like Liza P? I can't say. I've never played it. I will definitely try it out when it releases, though. New Elden Ring playthrough, ladders only. Very nice. Okay, we got this, Sash of War. We got this. Now we need to go back downstairs. 
Uh, let's go here. I just wanted to get that so that way we have uh, the capability of getting back up there faster when we need to. Since I was in the vicinity and all that, I did go the wrong way. I wanted to go this way. Why spears? Because it's one of the few weapon classes I've not done a playthrough for. On my channel, I have highlighted a lot of different weapons. Uh, it's all started with the daggers only playthrough. And then I did things like the bow only playthrough, the fist weapon only playthrough, uh, curved swords, uh, pole blades. Basically, you name a class of weapon, there's a high chance that I have an entire playlist on my, on my channel dedica dedicated to an entire playthrough of that class of weaponry. Trying out different weapons, seeing how they go, figuring out which ones are the most effective for how I'm building, and uh, yeah, going from there. Would you agree that Moog is more fun than the others? As in a fun boss fights? It's got a neat mechanic to it, but I wouldn't say it's like... I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's like all that great. Oh, you know what's another easy boss? is the Tibia Mariners. Yeah, those guys are pretty easy. Who agrees, Josh, to do a Dark Souls 3 playthrough? I have a Dark Souls 3 playthrough on my channel already. I did lots of parrying in that playthrough, in fact. Lots and lots of parrying in that one. What weapon is most OP? It really depends on your build, man. There is no one singular answer for that. There's some weapons that are more effective with certain stats and less so with other stats. Like, there are some weapons out there that you'll see. They scale really well on, say, strength or dexterity. But if you actually supplement a little bit of a different stat in there, you'll end up with higher AR than just that one raw stat. It just it really depends. Every build is unique, and every weapon that can fit those attributes will be unique, uniquely attributed to it. I would say, though, if you're trying to play through the game and you're really just trying to see which weapons work best for you, I would say experiment a little bit. Don't worry about what people call the most overpowered with certain builds and stuff like that. Just pay attention to what weapons scale with what and try to build around it and see how it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, then you can find some larval tiers and respect your character to try something else out. This is the type of game that I cannot recommend enough to just try to experience in a natural way for your first couple playthroughs. It's something that'll make you appreciate the game far more, trust me. Everyone say hello to Smo's long lost brother. Very good. Oh, I didn't think that would hit me. I thought it was underneath it. All right. The butt slam. Oh, he do be spinning, though. Ooh, okay. I didn't think you were going to turn that quickly. Prelate's Inferno Crozier. There's some guy talking behind the wall, talking mad shit. Come here, give me this. Thanks. They'll never find me, he says, as I find him. <laughs> I'll survive, I swear it. <laughs> I'll soon be back at the Volcano Manor. Man, you're looking a little dead. I don't know about that one, Chief. F in the chat for that guy. Okay, uh, we got the Fire Scorpion Charm. We now need to go level up Vike's War Spear.
We've done a hammer playthrough. Um, yes, but it was more like like I did specifically the hammers with uh, Sir Gideon off near playthrough because his scepter is a hammer, you know. I haven't used a whole lot of hammers outside of that though. I took you, no matter, I I took you for dead. Alright, I think plus seven is pretty sufficient for now. Hey, Marius, thank you for the 50 Danish. I appreciate it. it. Says, hi, Josh. Hey, bud, how you doing? Thank you for the 50 Danish. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, let's go make use of Vike's War Spear. See how this whole thing uh, goes. Hold on a minute. Sorry, I was talking to wife. All right, let's go here and fight some bosses. Just to kind of get warmed up with it. And then we're going to go fight Crucible Knight Duo. And then we're going to do more Mount Galmere things. That is a surprisingly low cost for the Ash of War. It's only 14. Okay. That's a surprisingly low cost. All right. All right. Okay. Anyways, um, I don't know if you guys heard, but, um, you know, I was, I was kind of walking around Lanedale in Ultis Plateau the other day. Story time. You know, I was just kind of walking around like so, like this. And when I got over here, I heard these two guards talking shit. They said, they said, and I quote, Chat's mom sucks. That's what they said. They, 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 they said it, dude. They said it. And so, I'm back. I'm here to defend your mom's honor. That's what we're doing right now. Let's do this thing. Oh, you did the scoop, not the poke. All right. Boing, 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 That's one down. That's one down. Die clones. They give the two dollars. Says I think Josh's game is bugged. Too many mom shitters. I know, dude. Right? Like, what is this? Why are they all talking smack about Chat's mom? That's messed up. That's messed up. They give the two. T Morse. They give the five Australian. Thank you for the entertainment and the good vibes. I love you too, Chat. Yo, T Morse. They give the five Australian and the kind words. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Stamina. Uh oh. That should be a knockdown right there. Sure is. Let's do this.
Okay. Okay. Yeah, Vike's War Spear does hit really hard. I do enjoy that. Let me go ahead and throw on the Fire Scorpion Charm now. Enhance our fire damage a wee bit. Thank you again, Diclones. It's good to have you here. Team Warts as well. Thank you. Anti-Lord Blue. They give the $10, man. They give the 10 bones. Potential Claymore only run of the future. Claymore only. You know, that kind of would be fun, I think. Specifically, if we make it so we can play like a standard knight and we do a lot of, uh, maybe a lot of like parrying and um, guard countering. That could be a good time. Potentially good time there. Thank you, Anti-Lord Blue. Thank you for the 10. Mythid Blue, thank you for two months. Mom says thanks. Hey, I shall defend it. your mom's honor. I shall. Thank you very much, Mythid Blue. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for the two months. Thank you for continuing a membership here. Moog Spear. I'll be trying that out a little bit when we get it. I'm going to try to get uh, Moog Spear before we fight Melania this time. I usually do Moog after Melania, but I want to try a little bit of uh, that and then alternate it with um, some Frosty Boys. Some Frost Damage on a Spear. Thank you, Mythic Blue. Smoking Bar, thank you for the $5 uh, sticker. Says, hiya. Hello there. Hey, man. Thank you the $5. I appreciate it. The five bones. You affect others with madness. Unfortunately, only tarnished are affected by madness. So, like the NPC invaders and uh, some of the Everjails, you can affect things there. But that's it. Unfortunately, it's just the fire damage that we're relying on here. What's your goal on YouTube? Just wondering. I want to be a household name when it comes to playing single player video games. Like a lot of people like to use uh, walkthroughs or they like to watch playthroughs of single player games. I want to be a household name in that regard. That's my end goal. Yeah, I, I want you to be able to think, hmm, I want to watch a playthrough of enter game name here. I want to watch a playthrough of Armored Core 6. And then you go to my channel, you type in Armored Core 6 and then boom, you can find the whole playlist for it. I want to be your main source of entertainment when it comes to that. I want to watch a playthrough of Atomic Hearts. Go to the Josh feed. I want to watch a playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Go to the Josh feed. I want to watch a playthrough of Elden Ring. Go to the Josh feed. I want to watch a playthrough of... Um... I don't know. Name any game coming out soon. Let me think. I want to watch a playthrough of Fire Emblem Engage. Go to the Josh feed. I definitely like War Spears more. I'm sorry, Heavy Spears or Great Spears more than Basic Spears. For sure. I want to watch a playthrough of Dead Space. Go to the Josh feed. Yes. Nothing about writing a game guide. Um, you know, um, kind of, but I feel like video content is just superior to written guides these days. Because realistically, you can use any of my playthroughs at this point, say on Elden Ring, as guides to get through the game. Sure, um, you know, they're not all 100%, but I do have a couple of uh, walkthroughs on my channel that can be used as 100% guides. ASCII text file guys, yeah. Thank you, Shy I appreciate that. 
But listen, man, you guys can help me out with this. Like, if you guys want to help me achieve my goal, like if you enjoy your time here, you enjoy my content, you want to be able to spread the word of it more, all you have to do is just hang out with me. Just watch my videos, leave likes and comments, whether it's live content or video content. As long as you're here watching it and stuff, YouTube will do its thing and help recommend it to more and more people. Just being here helps out so much with that. Oh shoot, this ain't good. Oh, just shy. I feel like uh, this spear might be a little bit shorter than, say, Silurius Tree. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is a little bit shorter. I'm used to that little bit of range with this speed. This is more of a war spear, which means it's meant for, like, solo combat and stuff. So I get it, but yeah. Hey. Go away. Planning on playing Starfield from Bethesda? Absolutely, Raphael. Absolutely. Use Cross Naganata already? Yes, I did that some yesterday. to do here is um i'm gonna wait for it to go back down and then i'm gonna run straight into it because i do, will not have the speed because i'm not light rolling i'm gonna have to basically run into it let it hit me and then uh get back up and move forward from there i know this is a bit of a bit, a bit of a weird way to do this but it's just kind of how you brute force it My first time. Thanks, man. Hey, bro. Could you show the best parts to farm level 100 plus? I don't really farm runes, so I'm not really the best uh, advice for that. There is the generic farm of going to uh, Moog's Palace, though, and farming the Albinorix there and the birds. I mean, that's the most obvious one, but I don't really farm runes, so I don't really know that too well. Did you play Bloodborne? Yeah, I've got a Bloodborne playlist on my channel as well. Oh shit, I just moved the thing again. Oh my god, I just did that so stupid. I just messed it up, guys. Hold on. I gotta go back down. <laughs> I just messed up the thing. I gotta get back there and do it again. I play Elden Ring randomizer possibly I generally prioritize new games and stuff like that but maybe I'll do a randomizer in the future Katie thank you for the two pounds I love your content Josh hey I'm glad you do thank you very much thank you for the two bones I want to watch a playthrough of cooking mama 2 go to the Josh feed you know I'm gonna be honest with you I've never heard of that game <laughs> We're going to try to play with each other, but we can't see each other's signs. We have the same password. And we have, we are at the first step. Can anyone help? Uh, you need to use the, um, the tarnished finger thing. What's it called? Uh, I'll show you. Uh, you need one, one of you needs to use 
Oh, hold on. So basically, you want to go down to multiplayer right here when you hit the start button. You, then you can open that and you'll see uh, a golden furled finger. One of you needs to use that so that way it places down your summon sign. When you place down your summon sign, the other person can summon you. One day I'll make that jump. Possibly beat the game with starter weapon. You can beat the game with any weapon that exists in the game. Yes. Which one is best? That just depends on what you like the most. You can beat the game with literally any 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 weapon in the game. What is randomizer? Randomizer basically makes it so all the stuff in the game is put in different locations at random. So it just means that you have to path things differently. But yes, don't feel restricted by weapons in this game. There are going to be people that are going to say, oh, use this, it's easiest, blah, blah, blah. But you can use literally any weapon in the game and beat it. So there's really no concern there. What do you find the most fun play style? I enjoyed using God Slayer Greatsword and uh, Mariah's Executioner Sword quite a bit. Do you play with both the Grand Sax or Death Ritual Spear? Not the Bolt of Grand Sax, but definitely the Death Ritual Spear. I'm not using the Bolt of Grand Sax just because I used that in a playthrough already. It is very good. It's very strong, but I would rather use other things that I've not used much. And I feel like the Bolt of Grand Sax is like one of two spears that everyone knows of already. Why did I even kill this guy? Why didn't I just run through? Everyone say hello to Ordorvus. Ordorvus, hello. Okay, I didn't think you were going to do that. My bad. My mistake, friend. Not a great start, guys. All right. Noted. Don't do two hits there. Only one. All right, decent trade. We'll take that. Oh my God. I think that tickled me. that poke go away or dovis no one likes you man guys tell him tell him all right my mistake my bad i'm sorry i'm so sorry oh my god josh stop rolling early dude I 
did it again. I rolled early again, man. I gotta stop it. It's been the bane of my existence today, rolling early. Ordo, you and me, baby. You and me. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Come on, then. and play yay. all right it's tail time baby have some fire Why didn't you do the tail there? That was weird. All right, this is fine. No tail again? All right. There's tail. Very good. Oh my god, again. I got that for you, buddy. There you go. That's for you. No tail? All right, no tail. The double hits. Looks like he's struggling a little bit, guys. Hmm. It's almost like he's nothing without his friend. Alright, we're gonna kill him fancy ways. Neat. Neat. All right, that's done. Uh, time to go to Volcano Manor then. Yeah. Um, let's go right here. You like using the whips in this game? Uh, they were okay, yeah. The whips were actually a pretty decent time overall. I did a whole playthrough with them. They were alright. Pretty fun. Okay, the fire basically did nothing to this guy, so we'll not do that again.
That was a big hit. We like that. Oh, I missed. That would have been sick. Big hits. Big hits. Early again. Gotta go. Oh, uh, his body does damage too, apparently. There. All right. Noted. Have this one. There you go. Have this one. There you go. This one, too. That's also for you. Oh, you, you hurt me, too. That's kind of messed up, though. Oh! There you go. Have that. The big stabs. The big jump hits. We roll, we jump attack again. Gotta go. You not, do not want to be in the vicinity of that attack when it happens. It should do his laser beam attack soon too. There you go, have that one. I missed. The big R2 charge. Hey, look at that, a knockdown. Fire! Ow. Alright, I guess it's not gonna do the laser beam attack. Okay. I guess we'll do without it. Get some of them starlight shards. Bolagmite, yeah. Bolagmite. Okay, that's done. Um, I don't know about fighting a magma worm with this, but we can change it out to the uh, cold harpoon. And the cross Naganata for the fight. Oh, never mind. That's more strength. Uh, we do have the pike. We could use tree spear, but tree spear is only plus eights. Yeah, we're just going to use the cold harpoon for that. Let me get... Uh... Road of Iniquity. Is that above or below? I want to say it's above, right? Let's try it out. Yeah. All right, this is not where I want to be. Um, Seedwater Terminus? Where does this one go? Ah, this is, this is good. This is good. Yes. We can't use, uh, I, I don't want to use Vice War Spear against a Magma Worm because I feel like they have fire resistance, right? That just kind of makes sense. That adds up. So we're going to use this to take out this Magma Worm. Though I do expect this Magmorm to kick my ass, too. Everyone say hello to the big lizard man. He's got the zoomies. 
the magma zoomies, if you will. I missed. I can't get the critical hit here. That sucks. Oh, there he goes with the magma zoomies again. I'm just gonna keep tapping R1 here. There we go. Just keep tapping R1 because I'm just I just can't see. Yeah, great. There's a knockdown. Sick. Okay, that missed. Awesome. Just stabbing magma worm gonads, guys. No big deal. Just stabbing magma worm gonads. Don't worry about it. Stab. 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 More gonad stabbing. Okay, you got a little bit of magma under you there, buddy. Oh, you're teleporting? You're on a leash? Today I learned. Okay, so that's what happens if you get hit directly by the sword. Um, it does the big damages. Uh, yeah. You're just chilling one moment, the next you're no longer chilling, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're just vibing, hanging out, stabbing magma worm gonads, and then all of a sudden you're dead. So that's pretty cool, man. Oh my god, the zoomies times four. The zoomies times five? Oh my god, come on man. Let me just let me just heal. Hey man, you're a little underground again, but we got the eye stab anyway. Good shit, man. Good shit, man. Okay, I missed. The R2 attack against this guy is not very great. Alright, back to stabbing gonads. Oh, here comes the sword. Don't get hit by the sword, guys. We saw what happened last time. Camera! This is a camera boss. Oh, I tried. Go net stab, go net stab. Go net stab, go net stab. Okay, there seems to be a little bit of magma here. A little bit. I'm gonna run. I need a moment. Why don't you come over here where we're not kind of tucked in a corner?
Have this. I missed. Oh my god. Well, that got some range, didn't it? Hey, Elgernon. How you doing, man? We are now tail stabbers. Oh, I tried to poke him in the head. That didn't work so well. Oh, he do be spinning, though. Oh. All right. Give me them toes, baby. Oof. All right, man, listen, you and your sword slams, you gotta, you gotta calm down. You gotta relax. You're gonna hurt someone with that shit. Have that. Toes, toes, toes. Oh my God. Again, man, you gonna do one more time for me? Oh no, you're gonna throw up. All right, that's normal. Well, tail stabs, toe stabs. Yikes, man. Magma worms, guys. Magma worms. There's our boy. Everyone wave hello to Alexander. This is mandatory. Everyone wave hello. All right, very good. Very good. All right, I think there's a little bit of uh, something, something over this way. A little bit of uh, a dungeon. Here, have this one. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, God. Look, these guys have waited up here for how many years just for waiting for some jerk like me to ride by on my horse? I'm like, wait for it. And then they throw just a, a fire pot at you. That can't be a very exciting life until that moment, though, right? It's got to be so boring. And then it's so exhilarating. And then it's back to boring again because you never see anyone ever again after that. bodies inside him are cooking. They are. Hmm. Nice. You know what's really crazy is he was stuffing bodies in him in his pot from uh, Radon's battlefield. So, you know, it's all it's all like scarlet rotted and gross, you know, and then he's cooking it. I mean, my God, dude, that's got to smell ripe. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh. And you know what? You're getting this one. Oh, my God. With the fire pots again? You guys. Not going to fight the rune bear? I don't fight the rune bears. And I recommend you don't fight the rune bears either. Not unless you hate yourself, in which case, you know, go for it, I guess. But, uh, you know, I'm doing a little bit of self-care today. All right. I'm taking care of me. I'm not fighting no damn rune bear. Oh, you just chill up there and just, just cast your spells, huh? What is this? Elden Ring PvP hour? Oh my God, I'm going to die. Human stew, yes. Hey, bud. Oh, 
Okay. All right. I'm just, you know, this, this camera angle, man, this camera angle, we're just really, really doing this, huh? Why don't you come over here? There you go. I'm getting crushed. I'm getting greedy. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. It's fine. I don't like, I don't like uh, not being crushed, you know, really into it. In fact, love it. Big fan. You see, I was using the reverse psychology on her. I said that I'm really into it. And then all of a sudden she's not crushing me anymore. You see? Here's Comet Azor. Not that I'll be using it, but here it is. Yes, this is Vike's War Spear. Maggie is your mom's name? Is she a demi human queen? All right. Let me think. Is there anything else here in Mount Gelmir that I need to kill? I don't think so. I think that's all the... You know, but there is this dungeon down here, I guess, we can do. I took a nap and came back to see you turned off the cheats. Yep. Sure did. Sure did, man. Yeah, the spear's pretty fun. She is a queen. I like it. Oh, it's not even looking at me. All right. Where did you go? Where did the boat necromancer go? I seem to have lost it. There it is. Stop. Splish splash, Tibia Mariner's taking a bath. Redneck, what's up, man? Can't 
climb. Thank you. Normal banana spear? I've not used the banana spear since yesterday. I'm changing it up. I, uh, I'm trying to use more than just a, a few spears so that way we can uh, really show off what they're capable of. What happens if you collect all the death roots? You can turn them into Garonk, and in return, Garonk gives you a whole bunch of incantations and weapons. Some of which are good, some of which are not so good. As far as, you know, most builds anyway. I would, I would consider them all pretty fun to use, though. I would say that. Most typical boss besides Melania? Uh, I would say probably Malaketh. For the majority of players. Nightlight. There we go. Very good. Rodrigo, have a good night, man. Do you like Elden Ring or Bloodborne more? And which do you think is better to start with? I feel like Elden Ring is probably a little bit uh, better to start with as far as new player friendly. But realistically, uh, you can start with either of them and be just fine. Okay, this is not ideal. Are you guys going to stay there and just throw shit? Okay, if they're not going to follow me, then I'm cool with this. How'd that not backstab? Hello? You think death right bird is worse? Death right birds can be pretty tough too, yeah. Killed him and took his hat. What about a torch spear? Yeah, I've not gotten the torch pull from anything, unfortunately. Oh, you bitch, you would jump. You would. Oh, come on. This guy is the worst, dude. I hate that guy. Do you think he sees me? He don't. You know, for only 14 FB, FP, it's really hard to not use that Ash of War. on Dr. Disrespect? Uh, I mean, I don't know. He's another person in the world trying to make his way with his content. I don't really know what to say there. I don't know. I'm not really the type of person to pass much judgment on others. It's, it's just not my place as a human being. Everyone has their own day-to-day -day life. Everyone does good and bad. Everyone has their own set of rules that they live by. He's no different. Why'd you leave Twitch? There's a whole bunch of reasons. Um, in fact, do we have the command for that video? Uh, Phil, if you could watch that video at some point later, it'd be definitely give you the most uh, detailed answers. But essentially, there's like three three big reasons as to why and um they all just kind of added up and culminated into me feeling like i had to just start over and do something else that's the that that's like the quick answer you know
Damn, I missed. Ow! Ow! God, dude, I cannot roll for the life of me. I'm, not, I'm just not getting the timing of these attacks down very well at all. Yep. If I had another half second there, I could have rolled that, but I didn't have that half second. All right, that's done. I think now, I think now it's time to go do Volcano Manor. I am Tanit, Rias, a warrior. Perhaps will you join? Why accept? Rise with us. Interest now, you believe the drawing room, but be sure. The use the key. Drawing room key. I'll go ahead and say that the largest reason, though, Phil, like the number one reason that I left Twitch and came to YouTube is that I can play a lot more games on YouTube and still be rewarded for it and still actually gain momentum. You know, different games give me different amounts of momentum for sure, but that's something that was pretty much non-existent on Twitch side is actually just being able to move forward by playing a variety of games. You watched Avatar 2? No. It'll be a long time before I do, if ever. How does Twitch stop the momentum? Just curious. You don't have to answer. Um, so YouTube has what's called algorithms that you can utilize. Uh, things like titles and tag optimization can help you as a as a content creator find the right people to uh, see your content. So this is one of the few guys that actually can become maddened, as you can see here. You see how the madness actually applied to him there? Which means we get that big spike of damage. One of the very few enemies in the game that we can do that against. And because YouTube has these uh, systems, algorithms, it allows you to be seen by more people. On Twitch, basically, you can only rely on those that already know your channel when you're changing things up. If you're not playing a game that people want to watch, then that's pretty much you sitting there dead in the water. 99.999 in, you know, infinitely percent of the time when you play a different game than what you're known for on Twitch, you get punished for it. You just don't get that same, that same level of forward momentum. On YouTube, it's, uh, it's just a better system in, in general to allow you to grow with multiple games. Uh, we need to go back to Volcano Manor now. Hey, Devil, what's up? Thank you guys for 700 likes on the stream. Is the you will be if you are low, but you must leave. This is a we have no place. You I am pleased. This is... Never forget the way... Hey, well, Sergeant Stoneman, I'm glad to have you here for it, man. Hopefully you'll be here for more video games in the future, too. 
something I do recommend everyone, uh, you know, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoy video games in general. I do a lot more than just Elden Ring, and it'd be cool to have you guys here for more in the future. Uh, here in just a few days, I'm going to start playing Fire Emblem Engage. I'm not going to be streaming that. I'm just going to be making videos on it. It would be dope to have you guys here for that, too. It would be awesome to have you guys watch those videos. And then on the 24th, when Forspoken comes out, I will be streaming that, as well as I will be streaming Dead Space Remake when that drops, too. Shiesty, have a good night, man. Now, with all this said as well, guys, it's not that Twitch is, like, a, just a terrible platform or anything like that. Twitch is definitely... I'll put it like this. Without Twitch, I wouldn't be here right now. Because when I first started streaming, streaming on YouTube was basically non-existent, and the formats that it did exist were actually really bad. YouTube streaming um, has come a long way since then. And also, back when I first started streaming, I had zero interest in making videos whatsoever. I just didn't like the idea of making videos, and it was streaming and getting in line with content and the type of content that I like to create that has actually made me enjoy making videos now. I love making videos now. I think it's a good time. I love the process, and I've only gotten better at it as time goes on. So I have to say that without Twitch, I wouldn't be here right now either. Credit where it's due, you know? Twitch takes 55% of his revenue. It's 50, not 55. And that's Vike's War Spear. <laughs> Vike's War Spear is very good. How often do I stream? Almost every day. Would you please live stream from your hot tub? Type exclamation mark hot tub. I got a clip for you. for spoken will be better than the demo graphics were bad it did not run great on ps5 um i don't think the graphics were bad i just think that they need to turn down the sharpening a little bit so that way it kind of flows together together better um i just think that there's a couple settings specifically in the graphical settings of the game that can fix that issue up but i did enjoy the actual combat of the game so i think that'll be fun i think the demo felt stale though just because we weren't really experiencing any of the story. So with the main game, experiencing some of the story should really help with that aspect too. We'll see how it goes. So then I shall Bernal. Bernal. Well. You. Well. It didn't run well on PS5. You could make it run at 60 FPS on PS5. Just fine. You just have to go into the settings and change your priorities. Instead of resolution, you need to put it at uh, performance. If you cannot... Look at you. I knew you'd take this. As if you should have letter to bernal okay we got the letter to bernal let's go do this where am i going what am i doing with my life this way oh you know what there's a crucible night here actually we could take out not that way but this way you play the new Diablo? I will try it out, yeah. Decide on what to play after this run. After this, Bruno, I'm going to be checking out um, Fire Emblem Engage. I'm going to be making videos on that. And I don't know if you guys have seen, but the Fire Emblem Engage reviews have actually been pretty stellar.
I'll be making videos on that, and then uh, I'll be streaming for Spoken when it comes out on the 24th. But yeah, the, uh, the earliest reviews for Fire Emblem Engage have actually been really good. I've not read them at all, but I've actually seen their scores, and it's been pretty high. So that's pretty cool. It's something to look forward to. Hopefully it uh, rings true for me, too. Ender Sinner. Thank you for six months. Good to see you, man. Finally got enough free time to catch a stream again. Good to see you, dude. Hope you've been great. Thanks for coming by to hang out. Hello there. Played any of the Monster Hunter games? Yeah. I played uh, a little bit of Rise and I played a good amount of World. Thank you, Ender Center, for six months. Oh, I thought you were closer than that. Jesus. He just moved barely out of range there. take that we take the golden seed we go back up to the avenue balcony now let's go do this invasion i'm streaming hogwarts legacy yeah alvarez yeah i'm gonna try it out see how it goes see how i like it you don't do wheel spears no i like to kind of show off spears one at a time i do this with a lot of weapons i'll use one instead of two so that way we can really see the strength of that individual item Frame drops? I don't see any frame drops on my side. None have been reported. I'll keep an eye on it, though. Don't know that game, but I look forward to watching you play it. Fire Emblem is a... Uh, I, gotta, I gotta say, it's probably a couple decades old now, the franchise is. And I remember playing it back on GameCube, and I'm pretty sure it existed before GameCube, too. Um, it's, a, it's a tactical turn-based RPG... And, uh, you know, it's when people think of tactical RPGs, it's one of the few that pop up in people's minds. Definitely one of the bigger ones. And so I want to check this out because uh, it's been a while since I've played a Fire Emblem game. My Phantom Sanity. What's up, man? It's been a while. How you doing? Bringing me to the base of the Earth it was on Game Boy? Yeah, I remember it was on Game Boy as well. That's right. What's up, Soyuz? Hope you're having an amazing day as well. What's up, Hawk? Mm, let's not just fall the way down. There we go. What is turn-based? So 
The closest thing I can say that you can compare it to is something like chess, but every unit has its own individual stats and weaponry and stuff like that. And there's a lot of units on the board and there's like different, uh, you know, not every level is the same, right? And also has a story all the while. That's the closest thing I can call it. It's like, it's like a more interactive version of chess. Oh my damages. Oh my damages, sir. As you can see, Vike's War Spear absolutely stomps NPCs because they're considered tarnished. Like these specific guys are considered tarnished. And so the madness does big, 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 big damage. I'm doing well, Phantom. I'm doing well, man. I applaud you for having the patience for those type of games are super boring to me. I, I look at it like this. Um, I play, you know, I play a wide variety of games. And this is not me saying that games like this, games like Elden Ring definitely require your brain to work a little bit. You definitely need to think about your stats and all that stuff and how it all comes together. But I like tactical turn-based things because they make me use my brain in a different way. It's a different type of using your brain. It, it's, it's, they're called tactical. It's, it's, it's more strategy. There's a lot more thinking of in a certain way in that regard. And so I just enjoy them for that. Play Marvel Midnight Suns? Yeah, a little bit. Ow. I just wanted to see how much damage it would do. Eh. It's like Shining Force? Yes, if you know Shining Force, then you'll like Fire Emblem, yeah. Oh. That arrow actually made it through there. Toxic. Drop your partisan. Backstab. No? No. Oh my god, you just did so much damage. Okay. Ever played XCOM? Very minimally. Very minimally. It's it's actually something that I missed out on. That's a nice beard, dude. Thank you. See about those games. I still play them, but damn man, it's frustrating sometimes. I'm glad you're happy doing what you like. I can tell it was a hard choice yeah for sure man for sure phil i'm happy about it overall though it's definitely the right move but yeah i just play uh you know i, I play oh shit i lift I, I play a large amount of different games and uh you know when it comes to content creation like i don't i don't want to be known for any one thing i want to just be known for being a content creator like like, I play a variety of games. That's what I want to be known for. I don't want to be recognized for any one specific game. Come on, man. Run faster, would you? My God, dude. My God. Are spears any good in Elden Ring? Yes, they're great. Specifically, heavy spears have a lot of, uh, they do a lot of poise damage, but spears in general just do very well.
Mad Ash of War does pretty good damage for the actual cost. I love it. What are some of my favorite FPS games? Currently, the only FPS game that I care for is uh, Escape from Tarkov. I used to play a lot of Battlefield, um, older Call of Duty titles, played a good amount of Warzone. I enjoyed PUBG for a while. Uh, Super People was fun. Uh, growing up, I played a lot of Doom, Calf um, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, Duke Nukem. Uh, what else? What else? Um, 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 I'm drawing a blank after that. Can use both of Grand Sacks? No, it's probably the one spear I won't use on this playthrough. That sucks. Apex is okay, yeah. Apex is decent. Played quite a bit of it when it first came out. all-time favorite game or games um the first things that come to mind i don't really have any one solid favorite but i have enjoyed a good amount of different games uh, a lot of things like uh baldur's gate knights of the old republic dragon age mass effects call of duty modern warfare the first one from way way long ago oh i should have rolled there i should have rolled there too all right noted Stalker. Stalker is great. Man, my mistake. Oh, I thought that would hit. All right, I'm backing up for a minute. Come on, man. Dude, all right. Ooh. You know, I, I enjoy this spear, but I'm really bad at dodging with it. The delay, the, the recovery time after the pokes and everything is pretty lengthy. Luckily, it's doing enough outright damage to make it so I can still, you know, get through the fights. But my God, am I playing poorly right there? Holy hell. What kind of music do you listen to? A lot of metal. Realistically, I listen to a little bit of everything, but metal is the majority of what I do. Uh, what does the spear level most on? Faith. Faith after dexterity. Interesting. Interesting. I guess we'll do some, uh, some more faith action for now then. All right. Any band recommendations? Gojira, Era, Spirit Box, Ginger, Trivium, In Flames. Um, 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 um. Arch Enemy. There we go. So you're thinking, like, there's one more that I really enjoy lately, too. Josh likes the devil's music. Oh man, don't get, get me started. Oh. Wow. There 
go. Have that. Hey, uh, did you have did you have a guardian sword spear by chance? Uh, we'll never know. You going to festivals? No, I'm not really my scene. Not really a live show type of guy. Lamb of God is good. Agreed. All right, from here. Uh, now that we did that, we need to go back to Volcano Manor. I'm going to take a really fast break, though, guys. I have to pee so bad. So I need you guys to do me a favor. One, if you haven't already hit the like button, make sure you do so. It helps out in a massive way. The next thing I need you to do is if you enjoy single player video games, if you enjoy that type of content with a great community of people from all over the world, make sure you subscribe. I'm not going to tell you to subscribe just to subscribe. I'm offering you the value. If you enjoy hanging out with people from all over the world in live streams, as well as quality videos based around single player games that's what we do here so if you're into that subscribe i'll be right back All right, guys, you know what time it is, right? You know what time it is, huh? It's time for that Arizona green tea. Mm. Delicious. Two minutes didn't wash his hands. Bro, listen. Just for you, cannot, just for you, Tavern Wench, if it cannot, I plunged my hands into the toilet before I flushed it. I have the room. Take it. Until we re you How hydrated are you looking? Oh, dude, I'm hydrated as heck. You would not, you would not realize how absolutely hydrated I am. I'm hydrated out of my damn mind. Oh my god, it's a snake girl! Everyone wave hello. Snake girl, best girl. Man, she's... She's, she's pretty snake-like, isn't she? Brave tarnished. Hey. What is your business here? Wondering I'm why you snake? This is not a guest room. Why you snake? What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness. Am I still a serpent? Yes. Oh, how do I... Oh, forgive I ought to be... Brave tarnished. This. Please forgive understand. Lady... I am told that my mother, I am, but people, and, but you are not, my, a secret, now I said, please keep them, my, a secret, now I said, please keep them. Okay, we ran that dialogue, we're good to go. 
now, let's crack open this door. I need her to oo-woo. You need Snake Girl to oo-woo. That's fair. That's fair. I need her to oo-woo as well. Can I get an oo-woo in the chat for Snake Girl? Oo-woo? If you cannot... Did you the girl? Mm. Well, then perhaps but please her true honestly. Yeah, you're right. I have a fourth please talisman true. slot now. That's why I did that fight. True. 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 What do we put on here? We could raise our faith. That would directly hit our damage. That would. Um, could do blue dancer charm. Because we are under 30 equip load. We could... Um... Hmm. Yeah, we'll just raise our faith. I feel like faith would do a little better. Okay, uh, yeah, time to go this way. Now, here's the thing. A lot of things here are actually pretty resistant to fire damage. In fact, the serpents, I believe, are completely immune to it. So that's a thing. Turn on the nightlight for you. How'd that attack miss? I am confusion. Budding horn. Okay, guys, for this one, we're going to do something a little special. Just because I need to get this out of my system. Okay? I need to get this out of my system. It's been a minute. I need this. I am satisfied. I am satisfied. Yeah, I was going through parry withdrawal. I definitely needed that. I definitely needed that. All right, so let me show you. Uh, these guys are pretty immune to fire. Launch. He took the actual physical part of that, but you see how it's standing in the fire and taking no damage? Yeah, so we need to avoid the, the snakes, the serpents, for now. We'll avoid those guys. Torch pole! Drop the torch pole! You didn't drop the torch pole, I hate you. No snake. Great omen killer cleaver. Crazy. Learn how to parry him by your videos. Nice, man. Nice. Did you use the crucible night training technique? I'm not sure how that connected, but I'm not upset about it. Okay, I need to go this way because there is a stone sword key down here that I would like to get. It's free. It is free, after all. One, two, three. Hup. Barely made it. Very good. We're here. We got him. Ooh, let's not fall down there. That's the spicy juice down there, guys. The spicy juice. I'm not sorry. Chaotic evil energy.
After quitting the game for months, I finally tried again thanks to you, spent the time learned, beat Margaret and the guy at the castle, all thanks to you, man, thank you. Hey, listen, you're the one that presses the buttons, okay? You're the one that did it. I may have inspired you, but you're the one that actually loaded up the game, and you're the one that beat those bosses. Good job. Keep it going. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself. Make the next goal, getting through the next boss that you find. You know, just take it one step at a time. You only improve from there. Good stuff, dude. No snake. No snake. These are the magic carps of Elden Ring. Oh no! Well. I became lunch. I became lunch. How often do you play Switch? I only play Switch when there's a game that comes out that I want to play on it, which is... I would say more common in the last few months than I would say the last year previous to that. So that's good news, I guess. Yeah, I was just trying to help a homie out there. Just, you know, trying to keep everyone fed. That guy was hungry, so, you know, I fed him. Good stuff. No, no, no. That guy wasn't a Magikarp. I mean, these guys are the Magikarps right here. These guys. What I mean by that is they, they struggle. They do damage literally by struggling. Watch. Ow. These guys, uh, these other Elven Orcs down here. The one that ate me for lunch. I don't know what, I, what kind of Pokemon he would be. What do you guys think? What Pokemon would they be? Played Zelda? Yeah, I played Zelda and I'm looking forward to uh, playing the new one. This, what is it? Spring or summer is coming out. Hey, thank you for stopping by, Celeste. I hope you have a good night too. Caterpie. Man, they are much more violent than I remember Caterpies as. <laughs> Guzzlord? Wait, there's a Pokemon named Guzzlord? I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really know a whole lot of names of Pokemon after uh, Gold and Silver. And even then, I remember most of the, uh, the original 151 more than anything. Guzzlord? That is, that is pretty suggestive, yeah. I'm giving Elden Ring a second chance because of you? Hey, I hope you have a good time with it. That's awesome. Hey, how do you do against madness, huh? You do all right. The way you can play with this spear just being so highly aggressive is really fun. I would say this is probably one of the more aggressive spears in the whole game. Just because uh, the Ash of War can break so, so things with such high poise. A good example is that Black Flame Monk. 
the black flame monks and the uh the the the, re the regular fire monks have generally pretty high poise when they're trying to cast their spells it's really hard to break them out of it so the fact that this can just kind of tackle that is pretty big hello from turkey thank you for joining us white witch hello there favorite energy drink i don't really know it's been a while since i've had an energy drink i'm just kind of a coffee guy i guess i used to drink them a lot but not so much these days it's not the best spear it has a very good ash of war Amari, but it is not the singular best spear, no. Its actual damage from a physical standpoint is not great, but its Ash of War is good. This is Vike's War Spear, yes. All right, it's time for Godskin Noble. Well, let me clear some of this stuff out. I just like to clear all this stuff out so I don't run into it while I'm fighting this guy. All right, let's do this. Jason, who around here, huh? Oh, you know what? I uh, didn't really think that through. I'll be honest with you. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm bwe bwang too hard, man. Okay. Am I dead? I'm drinking juice. I don't even care. Uh, I'm alive. I lived, bitch. Hey, uh. Are you gonna roll again? You're gonna roll that ass over here one more time, huh? Oh my god. Oh my shit, man. Holy. Okay. I mean, I feel like that's pretty illegal at this point, but who am I to judge, you know? Uh. Oof. I would roll early. God damn it. Is it weird that I want him to kill me because I want to do better in the fight? Is that weird? I'm not going to. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let him kill me. But it's like, man, I could do this so much better.
point 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 not gonna lie that was a very greedy attack but i was just really wanting to land it in that moment you know That was another messy fight, man. I'm kind of disappointed in myself, but it is what it is. T Mords, thank you for the two Australian says boim, boim, boim. <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. Look at that, guys. Rykard molted. Tasty. What's the name of this boss? That is Godskin Noble. Had to sip the green tea. Are you guys immune to fire? Testing. The answer is yes. It makes sense. I mean, they're they're magma slugs. I would hope they're immune to fire. I would hope. That makes sense to me. In my game, I messed up. I was playing with buffed blood bloodhound Fang, and I don't enjoy, but I'm a noob. Uh, Rui, I mean, the beauty of this game is you can go back and do it with anything else if you want to. Like, you're not... You don't have to stick with that one playthrough, or you don't even have to stick with that build. If you're still in that playthrough, you can use a larval tier after you defeat Renala and respect your character. So you can do some something else if you want. Sip the juice. Someone gave uh, this guy a whip for some reason. Not sure why Miyazaki would do that, but here we are. Can you respec in Bloodborne? Um, I, I would imagine you can respec, but I, I'll i be honest with you, I never have in that game. Not that I can recall anyway. Ow. Ow. Oh my. Oh my snakes. You ever do a run with the invader finger active? No. I'm really not a fan of the PvP in this game, just because, you know, most people are just kind of meta slaves and it's just very uninteresting getting killed by the same thing on repeat. Or having to kill others with the same thing on repeat. Just not very interesting to me. Look at that, guys. This is the one time where we can be legitimate and use the spear, and it will actually count towards the playthrough. Look at that. Heavy rolling, hold on. Hold up.
All right, guys. Guys, listen, you know what time it is. Do I even have to say it? Do I even have to say it? You know what time it is, right? Very well. I need you to give me your best together in chat. That squint. That squinty squint. Mm, very well. That's what he said. I heard it. I heard him say it. It's so rare that he does that before he actually enters uh, the, the, the transition there. It's so rare that he does that and he actually did it. I'm thinking, oh, he actually hasn't started the transition into the second part of the fight yet, so we'll be fine. No problem. I also forgot to grab the Sight of Grace, apparently. Shit, man. There's no freaking way that he actually pulled that attack off at that time. Terrible. It's okay because we can watch the cutscene again together, chat. Together. In fact, while we're watching it together, you should leave a like on the stream. So that way you let YouTube know that, hey, I endorse this. I sponsor this video with my like. And they'll be like, hey, that seems like a cool idea. And then they'll be like, yo, maybe this person over here will like it too. And so it'll recommend it to them too. And you help my channel grow because more eyeballs are actually on my content. And that's pretty dope. We enjoy that. Don't look at me. You know, considering we're in a volcano, how much do you think the, uh, the concrete here is burning my toes? Probably a good amount, right? Probably a good amount. Surprised we don't hear like a slight sizzle. Hey, come on, man. You're like a hobbit, doesn't matter at all. All right, all right. Can I ask a stupid question? Only if you are. Only if you are okay with a stupid answer. No, but seriously, ask away. Ask away. Any point level that weapon against snakes? Does it make difference on damage? You can level this up, but I'll be honest with you, there's really not a whole lot of value, especially if you're just using it for this one fight.
Damn it. I got it. Whew. Everything's fine. Here it is. What is this weapon? This is the serpent hunting spear that you find in this room as you walk into it. Andre, thank you for the 449 pounds. Fourth respect since I got to Melania. I think it might be a skill issue, by the way. Together! I mean, it may be a skill issue, but the beauty of this game is you get infinite tries to just learn the fight and get better. That's the beauty of it. There's no shame in dying. Don't worry about that. Put that out of your mind just figure out what killed you in that moment and how you can counteract it better on your next attempt oh, very well. this weapon is for this fight doesn't use fp it uses fp if you use the ash of war the ash of war does huge damage as well so it is worth using All right, Jen, I'll see you later. Thank you for stopping by. Join the Serpent King as family. Together, we will devour the very world. GG. He didn't even get to go phase two. Or, well, I mean, we got to Rykard, so that is technically phase two, but Rykard has like a special phase within the phase two, and he didn't even get to do it once. GG. I mean, Super Nintendo Dad, I'm still playing a lot of other games too, man. I just still enjoy Elden Ring. I'm glad you enjoy the Elden Ring content, but all around, I'm still going to play other games too. For sure. Okay. Uh, let's go speak to Tanith in the gang back here. But yeah, I always appreciate that you enjoy the Elden Ring content, guys, but I'm still going to be playing other stuff in the future as well. I'm just incapable of sticking with one game. That's not possible for me. I suggest I will miss the champion. I always perhaps perhaps we I watched those streams too. Enjoyed the Resident Evil Village a few months back. Yeah, dude, that was a good time. Resident Evil is always good. 
Well, aside from a few of them anyway. <laughs> but I'm glad you enjoyed that too, man. That's good. Good stuff. I'm looking forward to the Resident Evil 4 remake, so, dude, for sure. I harbor you. Even he was prepared. Any road, though we may, yet, we hunted on, and with every it's been a long time since I've played Resident Evil 4. So long, in fact, that I can't really think of a whole lot of the game. It's been that long, so I enjoy that idea quite a bit. Really looking forward to uh, checking the game out again. Should try to beat Cruise with Night Duo? They're already dead. Let's let's be the consort, shall we? Mm, are there no consort gloves? Did we not get consort gloves? Let's throw on the Alberich bracers. They look nice. Consort trousers. There we go. Yes. I am Tanith now. I am Tanith now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's Doug again, I know. It's just a, I can't help it. Okay, is there anything else uh, that I really want to do? I know there's some dungeons down here, but they're not really all that important. Yeah, let's go um let's go underground, shall we? To the dungeons, the subterranean shunning grounds. Oh, wait, hold on. Before we do that, hold up. Let's go talk to um Mr. Dongita. The Dongita. Also, you need to leave. Go away. Yeah, be gone. May the golden order shine through you. You were going to give me Isabel, some stuff. See you again. Isabel, see you again. Oh, never mind. You're going to leave and uh, that'll be, yeah, you'll give me stuff later. That's fine. Did you ever forget the ever-present Leon from Ashley? Oh, no, Plagrude. I still remember that part. Leon! Leon, help me. I'm dying. Leon! Where the hell is Leon? Yeah, you can't forget that shit, man. That's burned into my brain. Leon! All right, let me think, guys. Let me think before we do go. Do you want to change up the spear? Henry, have a good night, man. Um, crystal spear. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think. No, you know what? We'll stick with this. We're still good. We're still good with this. I'm fine with it. Maybe after we kill more gods, uh, we'll switch back up to the tree spear. Maybe. Sort this inventory. The uh, inventory is automatically sorted and categorized by itself. That is not something you as the player need to worry about. Unless you want to sort it by, you know, latest items found or something. Which is a choice you have. But it's automatically sorted otherwise. You don't even have Dynasty Finesse? You don't get that until after you get Moog's Remembrance, man.
bro can't leave the 90s? Yeah, imagine. Imagine someone having a childhood in a certain era and having, uh, you know, certain things stick out in their brain. Imagine. Weird. Weird how our childhood sticks with us. Huh. Strange. Sorry, I'm... I'm being a jerk. <laughs> Weird how that happens, huh? Um, big stab. Big stab. You prefer playing multiple games at a time? Yes. I'm only being a smart ass Jacoby. <laughs> What's up, Big Ed? How you doing? You playing Hogwarts when it comes out? Yeah, yeah, Big Ed. I'll be playing it. I'm gonna stream it. See how I like it. I'm still not sure how to feel about the actual gameplay. Based on what we've seen, I'm not sure how enticing it's gonna be, but I'm still gonna check it out and see if I do enjoy it. And we'll go from there. If I like it, we'll stick with it. If not, then you know, we gave it a fair go. How does New Game Plus work in this game? So basically, the biggest thing about New Game Plus is you keep the majority of what you have that you gained in your first playthrough, and then you start the game over. You reset. So you'll lose, like, a few things like the Great Runes, as you'll need to re-earn them again in your next playthrough. You'll keep all your gear, all your smithing stones, all the bell bearings, all of your armor, all that, all the items that you found in that regard, you get to keep, and then just play through the game again. And as well as you can find all the same items in your next playthrough again after that. So there, there's quite the advantage there, especially if you want to dual, dual wield something that you can only find in once in a single playthrough. For example, if you want to dual wield, dual wield Vikes War Spear, if you do New Game Plus, you get that option. This is a great little spot right right here, by the way. You see this item? Somber 7. It's a great little spot to farm som uh, Somber Smithing Stone 7s if you need them. They are kind of hard to get at this point in the game, as there's only a few out there in the game that you can find on the ground, but you can farm them here infinitely. So keep that in mind. If you want Somber, stone seven, somber Smithing Stone 7s, you can come here, kill them, you then go back to a Grace, come back, and they'll be back, and you can get more and more of them. You can dual wield Eleanor's twin blade? Yeah, you can dual wield any weapon in the game. Leave your jail. We're going to do the Dung Eater ending on this playthrough, guys. Yeah, you can dual wield any weapon in the game. I want to drop here because... Oh, I went on the wrong one. It was the first one I wanted. Um, you know, it's fine. There's only going to be a very annoying enemy here. No big deal. It's fine. Oh, 
Oh, God damn it, man. Okay. Yep, that's those. I'd like to be in the room when they decide on the creatures for these games. I feel like they just kind of, like... They have, like, a certain set of die around, right? They have, like, a group of dice. And they just roll them. It's like, if you roll a 1 on the die 20, then add 10 legs. If you roll a 2 on the die 20, add 3 swords. <laughs> you know, shit like that. Let's try again here. Yeah, Saluria's uh Saluria's tree would melt this for sure. Yeah. Why are you just sitting there? Hello? I mean, whatever. I'm not sure why it happened that way, but I'm not going to get upset about it. Screw those things. Hey, Raja, how you doing? All right, guys, here's the deal. We are 115 likes away from the big 1,000 on the stream once again. If you haven't hit the like button yet. Now, I'm not saying hit the like button just to hit the like button. I want you to, you know, hit the like button if you're enjoying your time here. If you're not enjoying your time here, then, you know, I don't want YouTube to recommend, you know, stuff like this to your channel, or, you know, to you, if you're not enjoying this, right? You happen to be here, you gave it a shot, that's fair, I understand. Not everyone likes everything, and I can appreciate that. But if you are having a good time here, it would mean a lot to me if you could hit the like button. Yeah, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Exactly. Uh, I mean... Okay. Now, you and I need to uh, come this way a little bit because the other guy's about to show up and we don't really like that around here, you know? Why do you hit so hard? Sometimes, man. Sometimes. I swear. Here, just have this through the wall. You can have that one. You're welcome. I did that for you. Stop. 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 Okay, you didn't stop. Hey, I, I appreciate it, Player Taz. Thank you. My God, these guys, <laughs> these guys, huh? These, these, uh, these fell omen dudes. Hmm. They are something. Look at that, guys. Now we're only 31 legs away. See, that's what I like about you guys. You guys, like, you're, you're you know, you keep it honest, you know? You keep it honest. I like it. Thank you for supporting what I do.
So basically the only thing that they do that I can't break their poise on is when they're doing that, like they pull their arm back and then lunge with it. That's the only thing I can't break them out of. Everything else I can with this weapon. So I'll keep that in mind. I shall keep that in mind. There we go. Hey, RG, thank you for becoming a member of my channel. That means a lot as well, dude. Thank you very, very much. I hope you enjoy the emotes you can use in chat as well as my videos, comment sections. Thank you for supporting my channel in that way, too. That's incredibly generous. Thank you so much. You stream on Twitch? No. I used to. I streamed on Twitch for six years. I no longer do. Okay. And Tasha becoming a member as well. Back-to-back -back members? Oh my gosh. Thank you, Tasha. I hope you enjoy the emotes as well. Thank you for supporting my channel as a member as well. Very, very kind. Thank you for that. You're from Brazil. Thank you for joining us from Brazil. I enjoyed the member video. Hey, I'm glad you enjoyed the member video too. If you if you just became a member, I did put out a video that is specifically for members. Now, keep in mind that the ma the mass majority of my content is free, but I, I I I will be releasing once a month videos, basically discussing um, what's to come to the channel, like what things to expect, uh, you know, what games I'm gonna play what's going on in my personal life, a little bit of that, you know, just kind of give you a bit of an inside look at my, uh, at my plans and all that stuff. So that's a once a month video that members can see. So if you just became a member, you can check that out too. What build you're running? I'm just running spears, man. There's that charge attack. There's that attack again. I watched the first episode yesterday. Yeah, of The Last of Us. Yeah, I watched it just last night. It's pretty good. They do a good job in keeping it faithful to the game. They added a good amount of backstory to the characters as well. And the best part is that Neil Druckmann is actually part of the entire process. So all this stuff, I'm assuming, has to go through him. And he has to basically, you know, approve of it before it enters the show, which is important because, you know, being behind the game and all. Planning using the Royal Greatsword. Any thoughts on that weapon? The Royal Greatsword has incredibly good scaling on multiple stats, and because of that, it is one of the best, one of the best colossal weapons in the game. As far as, you know, if you build into it. Don't use it just to use it. You definitely want to make your builds, you know, you make your build revolve around that weapon if you're going to go for it. It has such great scaling on multiple stats, you want to make use of those. No touchy. I'm dead. Never mind, I live somehow. Usually when I jump from that spot, I die, but I didn't this time. I just kind of did it absentmindedly. Rock lobster. 
Boing, 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 boing. Darkest Night, thank you for the $2 super chat. Says 1k likes again, you're on fire. Hey, that's because of you guys. Literally 1,000 different people say, hey, I approve of this. And that means a lot, dude. That's that's massive. Thank you very much, Darkus, for the $2 super chat. And thank you for 1,000 likes on the video today, guys. It means a lot. Thank you for that. Moog has a shackle, too. Indeed. And that's where you find it. You know, I was trying to get through here without getting exploded. Oh my god, where'd you learn how to run, dude? Okay. Alright, very good. Yep. Bruno, thank you for becoming a member once again. Ever played Cyberpunk? Yeah, I actually played Cyberpunk not too long ago. I have a playlist of it on my channel. We played it just a few months back. It was a pretty good time. I actually enjoyed it. What's up, Black Crystal? Playing on, I'm playing on PC. All right, and now we go this way. Elgernon. <laughs> I give up. Yeah, there's a lot of commands, I know. Oh. Ah, dude, I wish they would stop countering with that. And that. Jesus. Is this cave this is in the sewers underneath Landell. it's kind of hard to describe aside from you know just go into the sewers and keep going down specifically the sewers on the well side if you scroll back a little bit in this video because of the way youtube streams work shoot did i mean to drop there i think we're okay because the way uh, youtube streams work is you can scroll back in the video a little bit i would recommend checking that out there and using it as a bit of a walkthrough so that way you can see the uh, the pathing i take Yeah, I think I messed this up, guys. I didn't actually go into the boss room. Let me go this way. It's just really hard to describe down here just because it's, uh... It's a maze down here, man. Hey, Len. Played all Soulsborne games, including Sekiro? Yes. Hey, Michelle. First time seeing you, but sub because of how thankful you are to your viewers. It's so refreshing. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. <laughs> that makes me feel really great. Thank you. Uh, that's just, you know, I, um, that's how my mom raised me. Be grateful for what you have. I grew up very poor, and that just kind of, I was always grateful for every little bit that I got in life. I'm glad you're enjoying your time here, too. That means the world to me. Thank you so much.
Do 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 do. Hey man, how you doing? Yeah, I keep messing this dungeon up, guys. Uh, forgive me. Thanks, Anton. Just like a maze? Yeah, this is one of the more confusing dungeons. I'm trying to look for the specific boss room, but I think I keep passing it up absentmindedly. Because I'm just cruising around, killing stuff. Hey there, friend. Oh. Welp. Damn, he's cute. Look at him, huh? What has been your favorite weapon specific playthrough? If we're talking about a class of weapons, the daggers. The daggers only, man. I, it was so good, I did it twice. All right, let's let's uh, let's reset. Let's reset. Let's do this again. Let's go again here. Why does this guy have such a chill voice? I don't know, man. It's just the way it is. I, um... Uh, I was born with it. So I guess it wasn't always like this, right? Ah! No! Hey, Maxim, have a good night, dude. Damn it, dude, that attack. That attack every time. You know what? It's fine. They pull it off so quickly, and this spear has just slow enough recovery time to where it pretty much punishes me every time. I can spam dodge roll, and if I'm in, like if I already attacked, I have to wait for the animation to recover, and there's no way to really do that. I can't break the poise of it, unfortunately. Yep. I guess the real uh, the real thing to do here would just be doing one attack at a time. How many times I finished the game? This is my 25th playthrough. I play a lot of different video games, and it's, this, is, this hasn't been the only game I've played since it came out, but it's definitely the game I've played most since it came out, though. This is what I wanted to do earlier, but I went the wrong way. I saw stairs, and I was like, yeah, that's where we gotta go. That's what we have to do. Oh. I completely missed. Ah. Oh. on the nightlight what level do you think i should be to be here currently on level 146 if you're 146 then you're fine here you can beat the game by the time you're level 90 without much issue realistically if you uh you know if you have a certain set of skills if you will obviously not everyone has the same capabilities and that's fine but if you're 146 you are plenty good to go damn it dude What's been your most memorable Elden Ring run? The first time I used, or the first playthrough, uh, the, specifically the moment I defeated Melania. It took me 14 hours to defeat her the first time. It took me 14 hours. 
when I did it, man, it was a majestic moment that I'll never forget. You know, your hand shaking. Your head feels like a balloon. You want to jump around and scream. All that. Yeah, that was a that was a moment for me. I am not naturally good at most video games. The only games I'm naturally good at are FPS games. And uh let me tell you. Let me tell you. Gaining the skill to get through this game was uh quite the feat for me. even clapping I was I was clapping what keeps you going I get so overwhelmed with the game patience 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 I have um a lot of it somehow I, I don't really know why I just I've always been a very patient person and because of that I'm able to apply that to the games I play too so if I feel overwhelmed by something I just kind of give my moment give myself a moment to breathe and then I will look at the game from an objective standpoint and give myself a list of things I need to work on. Instead of, instead of just kind of racking my brain in a way that doesn't make sense and isn't fair to myself, I'll just keep in mind as well that the game is meant to be fun, right? It is a video game after all. Video games are entertainment first and foremost. So you just gotta kind of circle around back to that idea keep yourself level, understand that it's meant to be fun. And if you're not having fun in that moment, then just put the controller down for a minute. Come back later. There's nothing wrong with that. If you're frustrated, let yourself cool off and then, then get back to it. You know, it's meant to be fun after all. Oh my damages. <laughs> well, Hey, uh, Eskar, I'm already dead, man. My god. I got nuked. Madness Fish, thank you for joining me today. Have a great night, man. When's a Valorant stream? Not really big on Valorant. I used to play a lot of CSGO, but not so much Valorant. Not really into that. Ooh, baby. Plague, thank you for the two Canadian. Maximus, Freya, and I say you're awesome and hydrate. I'll tell you what, green tea time. Delicious. Hold on. Oh, what? Man, I'm trying to roll and it will not let me roll. Okay. Well, I just lost those rooms. That's okay. Esgar, please, man. Please. Why you hurt so much? Thank you, Playgroup, for the two. You should use the Death Ritual Spear. I will as soon as I get it. Okay, uh, round three. Fights. Oh my god, dude. I'm trying to roll and I'm getting caught on them. <laughs> this is a monster. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Can you get this guy's armor? I believe so. Okay, so uh, Asgar is actually considered a Tarnished. I didn't realize he was. That's cool. <gasps> no. Oh, are you kidding me? 
Hey guys, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight. Is that okay? Are you cool with that? Cool. Me too. Cool. Well, I didn't realize that he is weak to madness. So that's the thing. That's cool. Good job collecting those zero runes. Hey man, it's an important feat. Must pick up zero runes. Very good. And then L2. Yay. I'm going to do it again too. Watch. Oh, it's just you and me now, dog. Oh, baby. Is it over? Okay, maybe not. You actually hurt a lot still. All right, come here. It's time. It's time for another one. Let's go. The hard part about that fight is actually the dogs. It's those dogs, man. Do you know the name of the hood, possibly? I do not. But generally speaking, after you defeat certain bosses, you can find their armor at uh, the round table hold. You can purchase them from the crone by the two fingers. Copper Demon flashbacks? Yeah, again, another fight that's not actually hard. It's just the dogs in there that make it hard. Exactly. Ow. There's the Halig Drake Talisman. Halig Drake. Words are hard. Pronunciates. Enunciates. Rather. called great hood on it's called the great hood and you get it through the sorcerer painting okay so that's where you get that one cool you would All right, so what do I do about this? Do I tickle your toes or? All right, I'm leaving. man stop it screw that guy man screw that guy man all right let's hit the site of grace Basically regain the runes I just lost for the most part. Smash that man, and then we go up. Go away. I don't like you. Go away. I don't like you either. Be gone. Foul demon! I'd say I feel bad, but they're imps, and I really don't feel bad about the imps, you know? Screw these guys. Watch this guy run out willy-nilly. Oh my god. Bro, do not kill me.
Oh my god, that was close too, wasn't it? All right, for here, you want to follow the rat. You, have you guys ever seen The Matrix? You know, um, towards the beginning of the movie when they say follow the white rabbit? Well, in this case, follow the sewer rat. The sewer rat actually leads you in the direction you need to go here. True story. And then when it stops here, turns around to bite you, you stab it. And then you'll see a hole in the ground. Now, there's a couple holes down here, but, you know, the, the, the quickest thing I can say is the first one after the rat. But in case you do get lost, where you want to go is... You'll see these holes, and then when you look down these holes, you'll see one specifically with an item down there. Now, that item is actually bait. It's a trap. Write this down, okay? Write this down. It's a trap. When you roll down there, there's going to be a man that's going to try to stab you. Typical. Some man hiding in the sewers trying to stab you, you know? Very typical. It's like New York City down here. So what you want to do is drop down and immediately roll, and then stab him. And then you can open up this if you want a shortcut. But anyways, after you stab that man, you just continue on down. You'll find a ladder, you go down it, and the rest is pretty much straightforward from here. I hope you're enjoying your evening, May. And then you take the elevator all the way down, all the way down, and you'll find yourself in a whole new world of disgusting. Roll in the hole, stab man. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, Prof, what's up? I get stabbed in the sewer all the time in real life. Be careful. Hey, uh, Scott, may I offer you a suggestion? Stop going in the sewers. Just a thought. <laughs> okay, it's Moog hours. Let's do this thing. Oh, hold on. You guys, you guys want, you guys want to see Moog get treated poorly? He's probably going to smack me here, but it's fine. Wrong one. All right, so now that's useless. You can only do it twice in a single fight, so keep that in mind. I rolled early. That sucks. Have this, I guess. Oop, I missed. Time to heal. Oh, God. <laughs> oh no! Alright, now it's time to heal. My god. Alright, maybe not. The spear's a bit slow, guys. It's fine.
goodbye. I'm confused. I thought we fought him at Mogwin Palace. So just like the Tarnished can do like a projection of themselves into other worlds, like of other players, the demigods have that same capability. So think of how Margit is actually Morgoth's and those are projections of Morgoth, not really him. Uh, Morgoth is actually putting a projection of Moog down here too. Or at least I believe Morgoth is responsible for it based on there being a seal down here that he protects too. You have to defeat Morgoth in order to go down there. Makes you, more, makes you think, though, why Moog has a projection here defending the Frenzied Flame. My theory behind it is that despite them being demigods and being incredibly powerful, they are still succumbing to the greater will, and the greater will is the opposite side of the, the Frenzied Flame. And because they have the Three Fingers trapped down there, they're basically protecting it so that way people have a harder time getting to it. That's my theory. Because you have to think, even even Marika is weak to the greater will. Team Wards, have a good night, man. I'll see you later. Hey, Marverick. Didn't know the channel. I ended up liking it and I subscribed. Hey, thank you for joining me here, man. It means the world to me. Thank you. Can you parry Moog? No. Nope. Unfortunately not. Dual Crucible next? They're already dead, Paul. I killed them earlier today. I think it's more since the Frenzied Flame just wants them to burn the entire universe. It's in every other faction's interest to keep it locked away. Yes, but it's not of their own volition, right? Like, they're not going to do it just to do it when they have other things going on. There's so much going on in this world that it's like they need more than just another faction existing and having their own goals to really keep it locked away. Like it, it's it's got to be deeper than that. I didn't want to go this way. Yes, Moog's weapon is a spear, but you don't actually get the access to it until you defeat the main version of him and get his remembrance. Does it ever explain how we end up in Far Missoula after Melana burns herself? That part confused the hell out of me. Um, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about that one. Maybe someone in chat knows. Maybe it's something that Melana specifically does or uh, the... the the three fingers does for you if you do it that way. Spear is very good. What do you need to use it? It requires 16 strength, 20 dexterity, and 18 faith. I do agree to a certain extent, Rags, but then if that's the case, then why is it only the Golden Order that's going out of their way to make that happen? Why would every other faction not worry about it? I know that the Golden Order does protect the city, but if that were the case, would they not work together for a common ground, like common means? There is no incentivization at all, or there is no... There is no visual incentivization seen at all for them to work together in order to keep that away. And even then, they're only keeping away the three fingers themselves. They cannot withhold Shabriri himself. 
as we see when Shabriri takes over Yura's body and puts him in the mountaintops. All it requires is to defeat Morgoth and that seal is down. If Morgoth was the only thing truly holding everything together, then wouldn't he have a, uh, a much bigger role in everything altogether? Aside from just being in the throne room and rationally projecting himself all over the lands, would there not be more working together in order to make sure that the Three Fingers and Shabriri do not roam the lands more freely? Morgoth's powerful, but Shabriri is a literal god. If they really cared, they would work together to really hold that one at bay more than anything else. Am I going to use Mogwin's spear? I will use it after I defeat him. Yeah, I'll give it a go. I kind of want to see how it does against Melania what is thy business and see what happens there. Thrones. Ah, Godric the Golden. Hey, everything Trace, thank you for joining me for it. It's good to have you here. General Radan, Praetor Rikard, Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors, all. Thy kind are all of a piece. The way I see it, basically, is if there's varying degrees of good and evil, and they all view themselves, you know, in this regard, if the Frenzied Flame is like the ultimate evil because it wants to burn everything, it just wants to kill off all life and just kind of cleanse it, like get rid of all life in that regard, just by burning it all down, then wouldn't the others, in some capacity, try to work together to make sure that doesn't happen, instead of just one faction? Last of all, you know? Damn it, I rolled early. Oh no, he's spinning. Man, that hurts. You hurt, my dude. Oh, I thought I was out of range of that. Oh my god, look at that maneuverability. What the hell was even that?
Should have rolled to the side. Why'd I roll backwards? That was dumb. Why is Morgoth so damn cool? Anton, have a good night, man. I'll see you later. That is true as well, Rags. But again, if there was some present force, if there was some present force that was threatening all things to exist, I'm pretty sure in that moment, think circumstances would change. If there was some eminent power threatening to destroy everything that everyone knew for no reason... That's a different circumstance than just kind of saying that, you know, the current circumstances that we know in current world would emulate the same idea here. I just don't think that's a fair comparison. If there was some known power to, that could just literally destroy everything that everyone has ever known forever with no second chances, period, then circumstances would definitely be different. Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment. You are unprevented by the thorns. What attempt is this? That was attempt number one. So I'd like to the flame then and guide you. What spear does Morgoth use? The closest representation of it is the tree spear. Shall I turn your runes? Let my hand share them with me. Your thoughts, your ambitions, the principles. You believe it's officially contained for now? I don't think so. Think of think of Vike. Vike fell to the madness, and he was like the the promised tarnished, and he fell to it very easily. The player can fall to it too if you choose to. Vike was like a legendary lord. Uh, he's a legendary round table knight that everyone believed in and thought was going to become the, you know, an Elden Lord and change the way of everything. And he simply fell to the three fingers. He just simply gave into the madness. Not much to be done more about there. I wouldn't really call that sufficiently contained. I mean, that's that's its entire lore. That's the entire purpose of his lore to show that it's not sufficiently contained to take someone as strong-willed as Lord Vike and turn him into basically a tool of the Three Fingers. Yeah. The thing is that the circumstances haven't changed here either. He fell to the Three Fingers despite everything in the world being nearly identical to when you as the Tarnished are here now. Thanks, Eduardo. McDonald's Golden Over Older. Golden Order. Have it your way. 
full smoking bar. Thank you for the ten dollars, man. That the ten bones. The best ending is gold mask rune of perfect order. You know what's really interesting is um, when you really think about it, when you go for the gold mask ending, it basically just means that there's going to be more of the same going on, right? You're just, you know, you're you're kind of taking uh, the new knowledge if you do take that new knowledge of the golden order. Uh, if you pay attention to the lore, you'll see, you know, that finding out Marika is Radagon and Radagon is Marika really messes up the idea of the Golden Order. So you're kind of rebirthing it in a way, but it also means that you're just going to kind of keep things going as they are. It's kind of interesting. It's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's born anew, but with the same idea continuing forward. I've always found that interesting. How many waffles did you have you eaten this week? I don't know. I've not eaten any waffles this week. I've not had any waffles in a while now. Probably a couple months or so. Age of Stars for the win. Age of Stars is interesting too. Like, I wish they would dude. This is this is the thing about this game. I wish that they would actually elaborate more and make more of this like plain text. I, you know, I, I do appreciate that they try to make you kind of uh, surmise the lore yourself and have discussions like we are now, but there are certain things with the ending specifically I wish were more clear. In this regard, uh, when you do the Age of Age of Stars ending, you're basically just passing the buck over to Ronnie. You're basically going to be floating on the moon for a while, you know, in, in the stars, not doing anything for a while, just kind of letting things be. Whatever happens, happens on the planet. You guys don't care anymore because you're up in space. And the whole idea is you'll be out there for a millennia, right? You'll be up there for a millennia, just kind of letting the world do its thing. Just letting it go its own way. why I, I i just man i wish they were more thorough with the endings like there need, it needs to be more plain like more plain text i mean it needs to be more visible in how it all works so that way you could really just understand the idea of it all without really second guessing it i'm fine with having conversation around it i enjoy it like we're talking about this stuff now i love it because you know it's like talking about the ideas and what we surmise of it and it's really cool to compare our thoughts But I do wish the endings were more definitive. I've always liked the idea of the pathing being up for discussion, but the endings themselves being more definitive would be nice. Hey, Galactic. months yeah i've not had waffles in months man a couple months once in a while me and wife will do uh like a breakfast for dinner thing you know make some waffles and bacon and hash browns and all that it's been a while now though all right now that we got that set of grace i'm gonna go back up and do this other fight up here not that i need to but i'm gonna Take it easy, low quality. Me and my waifu in space sounds like a dream. <laughs> Think there's going to be a DLC? Yeah, Miyazaki's already confirmed it. 
He said at the Game Awards that there's more Elden Ring content on the way. This guy, huh? Why dark? It's just how this boss fight works. Not sure of the lore reason behind this one. New follow? Thanks you, man. Thank you, Manuel. Okay, this is a, a divine tower, but I don't really need to worry about that so much. Let's go down here. Alright, I can't tell if it's actually night out or not. It might be. If it is, then there will be a knight's cavalry right here. Looking like a negative. It is not nighttime. Okay. Usually it spawns right here. If it was there, I'd fight it, but it's not, so I'm just going to move on. There's also a Black Blade Kindred up here that I'm not going to fight. Uh, it just doesn't really do anything for the playthrough. It doesn't offer a spear or anything. Though I do wish there was a Rune of Death tipped spear that they had. They have uh, the axe, the sword, uh, the, the twin blades. And the halberd. But there is no spear, unfortunately. If there was, I would so use it. Have a good night, Jew in town. Flame move is nuts. Yeah, it's pretty fun, too. It's, uh, you know, it does fire damage and builds up madness against anything that's tarnished in the game, so it can be very, very effective there. But from there, um, you know, it, if you're going to use a, a, a great spear, there's probably better choices, but it's still fun. It still has the great spear moveset, and it's pretty good in its own right. Yeah, Death Ritual Spear. Yep, that's the, that's the next big spear we're going to try out, see how it goes. Should be fun. Does Frenzied Flame the madness stuff? Yes. Mountain tops. All right, we got the map right here. Site of Grace right up here. Before I do anything else though, I'm gonna go this way. I need to grab 
I need to grab the smithing bell bearing three. This will allow me to level up the majority of the weapons I'm using even further. You get them to plus like 17, I think. Off the horse, dude. Come on. Thank you. Not sure why that took forever. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Charles. Oh, I will be Celeste. I will be. I'll be respecting for it. That's the whole plan. It is intelligence scaling, so. Oh. Just like I've done with all the other spears I've used so far. Descend into the sea Gordian if you inherit from the girl setting you the path. Burn the and incinerate. Ah, oh, may chaos take the world. May chaos take the world. May chaos take the world. Yeah, what that guy said. on Clayman's Harpoon, it's pretty solid. I uh, I used it with uh, Glintstone Pebble on it. It does it does all right. I will say though, um, overall in the game, I like the great spears way more than the regular spears. Way way more. I like the move set more. I like the poise break more. And I just I like most of most of everything about them. The only thing I don't like about them is the speed, of course, but they're heavier, so it makes sense. So I would say, ultimately, Tree Spear, Soluria Spear, and Vike's War Spear have been my favorite so far. But okay, uh, guys, we're going to end the stream here. I'm actually kind of like, my brain is blanking out now. It has been over five hours, and I didn't even realize it. I'm going to call it a night here. I will be back again tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to clear out the mountaintops area, and then we're going to move on to Far Missoula and uh, Consecrated Snowfield, and maybe a little bit of Moog action as well. Sound good? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I play a lot of single-player video games, both on stream and in video Let's Play style content, so make sure you subscribe if you're into that. Make sure you subscribe before you go, and of course, leave a big like on the video too. If you enjoy what you, what you experience today, that's what we do all the time, almost every day. That's just kind of what we do here. It'd be great to have you guys for more in the future, so make sure you subscribe and leave a like. Sound good? sound good much love to you all thank you for spending some time here with me it does mean a lot it was great to have you guys here today i'll see you guys tomorrow tomorrow is wednesday yes a wednesday stream have a good night everyone much love i'll see you soon be excellent to each other catch you later